two. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? It is October 5th. I'm back after a short little vacation to celebrate mine and Hila's 10th wedding anniversary. Thank you, thank you. We've been together, yes, married actually 10 years together, 15 years. It's a long time. It's almost half my life. Kind of crazy. Damn. Yeah. The best half. That's for sure. Here is Ethan Klein. Oh, oh yeah, right. It's Wednesday. I forgot. Sponsored by ExpressVPN. Oh, I was about to say, shout out the sponsor, quick. <laughs> Primal. It's just so long. Wait, what? How did Tom Selleck get in there? How are you, how are you gonna milk an oak? <clears throat> this isn't my first rodeo. How this are you gonna milk an oak? That's how I roll. I have one speed, I have one year. Go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Stop it. 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 Back in the Matrix. Uh oh, it's on. The lie. Oh no. Oh wow. This is trippy. Is this the ego death part? This is cool. Oh, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uh oh, Papa's in the house. Yeah! Let me finish. Hey guys, I'm so sorry to interrupt. We gotta go to break. Jesus, this is like Willy Wonka's the boat ride. Yeah. Is it raining? Is oh, it's it so fast. I wasn't <clears throat> Is that an homage to you tripping out during Sonic, that, uh, Ian? It had to be, right? Yes, thank you for that boat ride through Willy Wonka's uh, Chocolate River, the most horrifying scene I ever saw as a kid. It freaked mm -hmm. me out. Never forget. Well, we got Zilly Zonka. Oh, Billy Zonka's boat ride. That was, of course, brought to you in collaboration of Ian and Zach. When you bring two great minds together, anything is possible. It's so true. It's Wednesday. It's off the rails. Sponsored by ExpressVPN. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, me and Ela were in Hawaii. I, I was hesitant to say it because I, I don't know. I don't, want, I don't like ever to tell people. Never know. What's the, new, the meme? Don't let people know when's your next step. Never let them know your next move. Where you go like. You're like, take. Yo. Stupid. So quirky. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? I didn't. Whoa, man. That was but crazy. but we were yeah, we went to Hawaii. It was fun. Nice. Actually, we talked a lot about it in this uh week's See You Next Tuesday podcast. Exclusive for members. Thank you to all of our members. Love you so much. That was me. Now it is actually an accurate picture um thank you jay for the congratulations i'm going to be hosting a relationship ethics seminar next week uh, which means our marriage is doomed <clears throat> um today we have such a fun interesting unique episode there's been an accumulation of stories about cheating there's so many, there's gotta be, and they're all huge. And so we said, damn, some of these we've spoken about, some of them have updates, some of them we haven't spoken about. <clears throat> but we're gonna be doing a tier list here. We have, uh, let's see, we have, oh, the f weights in the fish scandal, that was pretty freaking awesome. 
there was a big fishing contest with actually and what i learned is there was a thirty thousand dollar prize so that mm -hmm. explains what the fuck that cheating was bullshit we got weights and fish <laughs> they were stuffing the fish with weights and there's a video of it adam maybe Levine. video of the year for me by the way dude that, they were about the, that be, video is so fucking funny it 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 really is. The story <laughs> wouldn't be really interesting at all if there was no video. Yeah, no, not at all. But the video completely makes it. Uh, Adam Levine sliding in the DMs. We've talked about it. We'll just rank that one. Ned, uh, Ned tries for in, uh, infidelity. Try guys. There's some interesting updates there. Cheating at chess. There's a theory that this chess player, it's a really big story. He beat the world's best, some say the greatest player of all time, uh, Magnus something. I don't know. Carlson. Carlson. And Magnus goes, you're cheating, bro. I know you're cheating. And it created this huge firestorm in the chess community. And people have been trying to figure out, is he cheating? Is he not cheating? One of the theories is that he stuffed up something up his butt <laughs> that's communicating a Morse code or something. That one is, mo that theory is mostly a meme, but, well, it's but is it? It is plausible. It's plausible. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and then there's a, this girl, um, Call of Duty, uh, what's her name? Ta Nadia. Nadia, yeah. This one's really interesting to me. I've been seeing this one all over my TikTok feed and, and just on social media. This girl, Nadia, she's really good at Call of Duty. Duty. Which we don't, we here on the H3 podcast and the internet at large, we do not like gamer girls. We say to them, go home, gamer go girl. Go home. Although, Sam, you're pretty good at Fortnite, I understand. I mean, I'm all right. <clears throat> That's going to be a problem. I'm going to need you to go home. On my way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and then there's also a poker anal beads cheating scandal. <laughs> Much in the same way that they are accusing the chess player of cheating. Because The way I say that is because there's no really conceivable, obvious way where you can just cheat when you're sitting at a table with somebody one-on-one. Anal sex. So it's got to be anal beads or something. So... There's a cheating scandal, uh, there's Dream showed his face, I obviously want to work that in, so we just said Dream cheats at Minecraft, so. Let's go! Still true. It is still true, yeah. I Heart Radio cheating, I don't know if we talked about this. Did we talk about this? The freaking I Heart Radio, which is this huge conglomerate, they own a bunch of podcasting shows, they've been buying views. Artificially inflating their views to rob Honest to God podcast like ours mm -hmm. of the our rightful position as number one, maybe number two to Joe Rogan. No, number no, one. No, number one, dude. Number one. The number one podcast in the world. Thank you, Howard. Cam, you're getting you're accumulating more birds every time I feel. <laughs> Can you cut the camera, please? I mean, what is going on here, dude? It's Snow White ass looking. I'm Corky. <laughs> you ready? So quirky. Wait, ready for this? Where's your dwarves, Snow White? Uh oh. Oh, does he have? He doesn't. No way. No Not in way. The yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a little chinchilla. Oh. Or is that a hamster? That's or my what? little chinchilla friend. Right oh, there. chinchilla. Wow. He's got crystals. He's got mouses. It's all happening over there in Cam's corner. Never let him know your next move here. Absolutely not. Never. Uh, yeah. Never. 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 And then finally, me cheating with Young Gravy. That's obvious. We're just going to throw that up there for um, for the purpose of. <clears throat> you know, rounding it all out, getting some on the chillest. Yo, it just occurred to me that the dream face thing was such a big story. I wonder if that would be a great fucking thing to put in the title, don't you think? Oh my gosh, yes. Because I got thoughts on that. People don't want to know my thoughts. Everybody got thoughts on dream face reveal, which was <laughs> way fucking too big, by the way. For <laughs> like the the uh -oh. prevalence of that story was insane. Um, it was a big moment for the internet. Man. Was it? Yeah, it's a big, it's a big deal. Massive. It's I'm being massive sued deal. by Ryan Kavanaugh. Okay, I'm fighting for your right to free speech, and we're focusing on Dream's face. More people need to be talking about me. As always. Drive angry. Maybe it should be. <laughs> maybe it should be. Cheaters tier list, and Dream face reveal. I mean, we could tack that on there. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Or do you think lead with? Dream face reveal. Probably not. No. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> uh, Let's go! That's Dream. <laughs> Cheating at Minecraft. People forget. We haven't.
We'll never forget. Yeah, I'm the thing, for your right to free speech. Sorry. The thing about Dream's cheating scandal is just so embarrassing. People forget about it. Now, do we have a lot of Dream stands in here? I need to know. Bef just, I need to know how hard to go on him or not. <laughs> <laughs> can we? Um, can we do a poll? I need to know what I'm getting. Well, there's there's into. how many people in the crew? There's like eight of us, so there's at least eight Dream stands in this office. Really, mm -hmm. eight of you guys? Yeah, stand Dream, dude. I dream of a world without dream. Just kidding. Not that bad. I dreamed I saw Whoa. my maternal grandmother's. <laughs> I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother's pubes going around my neck. They went into my orifices and I had a prostatal orgasm from grandma's pubes. You know how in hentai you can pretty much turn anything into okay. a tentacle. <laughs> Well, that's what we did with Grandma's hair. It's a little early for this, is it? You think, maybe? We turned it into a life-size... ...octopus tentacle. I've never done anything weird with my dogs. She took- and she- I let her have her ways with her hentai hair tentacle. Rats will dance for money if you pay them. Anyway, what about incels? What are we gonna do about them? <clears throat> we need to get more hair hentai tentacles to the incels. I'm trying to make a point. Okay, wow, this is actually, okay, so 9% yes, 90% no. You can put up the poll, Ian. That, that's Size pretty down. much zero, because when we've done polls in the past where it's like, are you a human being? Or, you know, like the most obvious ones, basically, this is as polarizing of a result as we've ever gotten. Bet you have nothing! So strap in, Dream, because I'm coming hard! Sometimes I go too hard and you people like him. Like Keith. I love Keith now. He's a great guy. I like Keith. Just a little soy. He is a little soy. In but he, he gave us good face, like in that Try Guy video. I could tell he meant it. Dude, <laughs> that guy, I mean, I'll say he's the best at soy face. Nobody soy face like Keith from Try Guys. Nobody. <laughs> Practically the father of soy facing. Speaking of soy face, um... I was just sent this. Oh my god, you guys. Stop it. He's quirky. Them, I wonder how the guys are coping during all this. The Try Guys. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that what they were getting? That's a thumbnail? Bro, we need to step our thumbnail game up. No way. No. I think that they're getting a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, his wife's a lucky girl, man. <laughs> <laughs> Becky. You know what I'm saying? Shh, that guy cleans up. He don't leave no crumbs. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I saw Young Gravy uh, followed her, and she followed him back. I saw that. Yeah. That's exciting. Wait. He's going to fuck her. Yeah. <laughs> Young Gravy's going for that MILF game. He didn't spend a single second. Is that would that be would that that be incredible? I mean, you're talking about not? you're talking about the Ned guy's you're wife. Ned's yeah. wife. Yeah. 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 yeah, this is this is a uh, deals. That's a real thing that happened. Yes, oh, yeah, it actually happened. <laughs> this guy, Ned's <laughs> wife Ariel, who he cheated on, all right, now mutually follows Young Gravy. That is real. Okay. He's like he's like I don't even know who she is, but she's fine. I'll give her a follow. <clears throat> it's like the Batman of MILF. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That was definitely for a thumbnail. Wow, okay. <clears throat> they should just bank a bunch. Why are you even taking thumbnails? Like, All right, anyway, I'm not here to shit on Keith. We love Keith. I've already established that. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. Wanted to say again, I don't know if I pressed it enough, but thank you, members. See you next Tuesday's episode two is up and it was it's great. Everyone's having fun there. Everyone's doing good. It's just such a fun, wholesome thing. We talked all about our big I, I complained a lot about uh, the hotel. And I picked life. up on that. Yeah. When you sent it to me and we, uh, you know, cleaned up the audio a little bit. I was just spot checking throughout and I just kept skipping around to different parts and every time you were just complaining about something else. Yeah, I mean it was a it was a it was a theme of the episode. <laughs> right. But all in good fun, obviously. Ela was, was laughing 
She was cracking up. She was laughing, so I was doing something right. There you go. So there's that. Also, just a little preview of our October release, if you guys want to see real fast. Work it. I got to say, just straight off the bat, I love this piece, but this photo is so weird. His teeth are just floating right there. Having a good time. What's with his teeth there, man? Is this a dental office or are we selling clothes? Got nice teeth. <laughs> Show them off. It's a Show little off weird. the chompers, dude. Yeah, but anyway, it's a cool shirt. Uh, this bow is too tight. Teddy bears. Uh, this is badass, by the way. This Whoa. one's sick. That's and it awesome. says, you should always be your biggest advocate. <laughs> it's been a difficult year, and you should be proud of yourself for pushing through. Hell yeah. Make sure to set some time aside for yourself so you can focus on your mental health and self-improvement. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything, motherfucker. Come on, motherfucker. Cool shirt. I love that shirt. <laughs> Sick. This shirt's beautiful. Wow, it's gorgeous, you know. The world is fucked. Have fun while you can. Amen, brother. That's a cool one. Thank you. Uh, I want the hat so bad. Oh, done. Cheers. Yes. Uh, this <laughs> one's like super cool. It's like a patchwork, um, a quilted patch. It's really cool. And uh, that's a little preview there for you guys, so thank you, thank you. Also, I want to give a shout out. <clears throat> We're going, trying to go a new direction with our photography and just marketing in general on the Teddy Fresh page. And we just dropped, this was our teaser for the October drop. This is it, let's fucking go. Sam, you actually got this one, right? I did. What do you guys think? I mean, this is fire, no? <laughs> Ethan Bradbury, is that you? <laughs> there it is, October, uh, teddyfresh.com, October drop, 10 a.m., 10 6. Oh, what the fuck? That's tomorrow? Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, how was the, how was the uh, experience of acquiring this? Um, expensive. They. Wait, really? He got you good, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, <clears throat> you'll. Yeah, so there was another character that was there. And he was like, hey, come come get in on this. And so then I had to pay both of them. Oh, he invited him and then yeah, you had to pay yeah. him? And then I was like, well, I took the picture. So now I have to give both of you 20 bucks. So this this was a $40 picture. You got hustled. So well, yeah, the other hustled, character. To he be hustled me for sure. It was Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah, no, it was fire. The Mickey one was fire too. Reason. We'll drop those. He's good at emptying pockets. Oh, yeah. Those Disney guys. But to be fair, he probably, you know, this is a... But you know on Cameo, you pay more for the for the uh, commercial use. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He got price. you on the he got you on the commercial use. Yeah, he, it was the licensing fee that he. Was <laughs> yeah. Spider Man, what are you doing in sneakers, man? That's not that doesn't make any sense at all. Love that though, legend. Love his posture too. He's leaning forward. I mean, he nailed it. So it's a lot of fun. Thank you, Sam. Good job on that one. Yes, 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 yes. Um, shout out Sneeko. We talked about Sneeko, didn't we? A little bit. Yeah. Sneeko was basically just a manosphere, red pill, woman hating fucking loser. Wanna be Tate. Yeah, ju just another one, you know, another off brand fucking run of the mill, uh, insecure man. Fatherless behavior. You know, people always go say about women, motherless behavior as like an insult. Mm -hmm. I think what you're seeing here is fatherless behavior. I think it can be equally applied to men. Mm -hmm. uh, if we're going to take that route. So anyway, he got banned. So we'd love to see it. See you, partners. See you, partner. <laughs> <clears throat> Sneeko is sharing his L's. Both of his channels were removed. Do we have any intel about about what put him over the top? I mean, I know he was doing... Does this man have a swat? Uh, okay. It looked like he had a Hitler stash, but I think it's just an emoji. <laughs> From the chat. Yeah, it's some <laughs> fortunate <crazy>. timing. <laughs> I was like, bro, really? Uh, uh, let's see. This, user, this YouTuber's channel hosted social commentary that many associated with Andrew Tate. Sam may not be aware, but Sneeko's early work. Oh, he used to work with Mr. Beast. Yeah, I knew that. 
Do we have any intel if something new happened, or is it just the accumulation? I think it was just the accumulation, yeah. yeah. Um, you remember that... Right, we talked about on the show, there was that video where he was uh, uh, gyrating <coughs> yeah. violently towards Oh, yeah, someone. that's the one we talked about. The, yeah. The Chad Chad clip. Oh, yeah. Chad that, Chad, right. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, that was and, very, very bad. And Nick is not green who put that in his video. I think that that was like the catalyst for getting Damn, him. Nick's got to be feeling pretty good about that. Hell yeah. Anything's possible. Thank you, Henry, by the way, uh, who says, I'm a sushi chef. And have a lot of insight on Liver Chef's TikTok. Mm. It made him raise an eyebrow. Okay. How are you, how are you gonna milk an oat? He's. <laughs> I don't know how. That's. <laughs> I'm still wondering. <laughs> Chelsea, happy birthday! God bless you. So, oh he, oh Nico was recently in. It's wait. Nico. Why'd you write Nico? Did I write Nico? You wrote Nico just so you could fucking correct me, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 medicated right now. Yeah. Really? What are you on? I don't know if I could say Tylenol three with some you magic. You can say you're, oh, you're in coding. <laughs> it's a doctor prescribed medicine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm chilling. Okay, interesting. He's still um, he's still feeling the uh, wisdom teeth thing pretty oh. bad. He was he was obviously in a lot of pain this morning. You, so he's trucking not? through. I don't see any swelling. No swelling's down for the most part. It's just anytime I eat, like the pain is like crazy. But tomorrow I have a follow-up appointment, so. You told me the syringe trick saved you. Dude, you saved my life. I was, it was like the fourth day, I think it was Sunday, and I was in the worst pain probably in my life. And really? yeah, there was, I didn't know what to do. I was looking it up online, and I was just sitting there, and then I was thinking about why is it hurting more than when I started. And I was like, oh, that syringe, I haven't used that. And the shit that came out of my mouth was disgusting. Isn't it fucking nasty? It was wild. But as soon as I did that, I mean, it hurt for like probably 10 more minutes. And after that, I was good. Wow. Yeah. So thank you. Wow. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody told you that because my doctor was pretty specific about that. Um, TikTok already got banned? What, the Sneeko fan, the Andrew Tater Touch are out hard today. Let's see, what did we get banned for? No! What do you guys think? Misinfo? Shut up. Oh, bullying and harassment, yeah. That's the game. <laughs> <laughs> the classic. Poor Andrew Tate. Here, I appeal. It usually gets turned over in like two seconds. Suck a little bit of dick. Suck a little bit of dick. My man. I'm the one getting plowed. Yeah, when I used to get that syringe, you put your head down over the sink like this, and the shit that comes out is, it's foul. I mean, it's horrific. Yeah, I know. It makes me disgusted to be myself. I showed Lena yesterday for the like, first time. She was grossed out. Really? You s oh, you saw it, Lena? I've been seeing it, yeah. What he did does what, it a lot. <laughs> what did you see come out of his ho mouth holes? Just a bunch of gunk. It's like a whole Big Mac came out. Ew. Chewed up gunk. <laughs> yeah. Did it smell? I uh, I don't know. You didn't Possibly smell it. I didn't smell it. No, you didn't, I didn't smell it. it. You didn't take a, a big old. <laughs> yeah. Next time, can you capture that in like a sieve and just smell it afterwards? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bro. For sure. Maybe Zach could smell it. <laughs> Zach's the smell guy. Yeah. <laughs> so disgusting. I'll give it a smell. I'll give it a sniff. By the way, Jeff Wedek, I hope you appreciate what I'm doing for you. My hair is so fucking out of control right now. Okay, Ethan. And if I cut it, I'm going to ruin the barber shop. That's next week, right? You're going to record it? I, that sounds about right. Mm -hmm. But my hair is... Look at this. Look at this hat. It doesn't even touch my scalp. Not even close. <laughs> Oh, look at my hair. I think the long hair looks good with the hat, though. I look like Sideshow Bob. Are you kidding? Look how it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> look at, yeah. It doesn't look good at all. Bro. Oh, shit. I look like a homeless <laughs> or just unkept. Jeez Louise. Look at all that hair, man. It's ridiculous. Outrageous. Uh, the, but that hairline, on the other hand. Hmm. I'm growing my hair back, people. Yeah, so um, farewell to Sneeko, who has been banned on YouTube. Hate to see it. So sad. Terrible. You'll be missed. Uh, you'll be missed dearly, my friend. Yes. Indeed. Sneeko, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, okay, let's talk about then the dream thing, because we were getting into that. And this was huge news, man. Uh, when I was in... When I was in Hawaii, this was popping off. Now, 
what was your guys' take on it and on the face value scene? Because it's like you couldn't avoid it. It was all Dream's face and all these massive creators being like, Dream's face. Like, let me show you an example, okay? Anthony Padillas is a fucking 40-year-old man. I know you guys probably like Anthony, and that's fine. I'm not trying to say anything bad about Anthony. I'm just saying, this is a 40-year-old man freaking out over what a fucking, like, 18-year-old's face looks like. Like, just, just, like, there's no way that you care about... He's 35? I'm older than him? Yes, Fuck. sir. <laughs> okay, well, then, can you imagine me being like, No! Look at this child's... This kid... I'm not 40. Stop. It's not my birthday. Stop. Happy birthday. Stop clapping. It's not my birthday, and I'm not 40. Stop! Zach, kill the music. 40's a good age. Yo, what the fuck? You still listen to me, Zach. And many more. Yeah, when you were in your 30s. <laughs> fucking loser. I'm not 40, though. I'm still, I still have three good years of being 40. Stop. Old man. Fuck you, Oliver. Yeah, so, um... And I can't get up. That's not me. I can walk fine. Totally mobile. Yeah, so this is one I saw that I was like, okay, Anthony, come on. But again, uh, you watch for yourself. Dream is calling me right now to face reveal to me. Yo! Wait, you're frozen right now. Holy Hello? shit. I have no idea what I was expecting. Oh, there you go. Just put it in. Hi. Yo, hi. There you go. Put, it, put a face in it. I thought that's the thing is people have something like some kind of... Look how shocked he is. It's just a dude. <laughs> it's just a guy's face. A t and he's like a young man. He's like 19. What, how old is Dream? Like 22 or something? It's not that... Uh, it's like I'm seeing Dream is 23. Dream is literally 24. Okay, well, the chat doesn't quite agree, but he's... In his early 20s, let's but say that. It, it's like... Uh, so just to make this as bad as possible, let's just say Anthony's 40 and Dream is 18. 23. Just kidding. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, it's, it's just, I felt like that one was fairly tame. I don't know I if that know. was the best example. Like, no, he, didn't, he didn't really freak out. No, listen, I know <laughs> this one was tame, but it's Anthony Padilla. He's the oldest person on here. This man... Is 35, okay, and he's freaking out over a kid's face. It's just so stupid. It's like, bro, I know you don't care. Stop it, Anthony. <laughs> it just feels so dumb. Also, once you see what his face looks like, he's like the most ordinary looking white dude ever. Mm -hmm. Like literally nothing to soy face over. I was excited to see it though. I've never seen Me any too. of his content. I was so ready. <laughs> Me too. I bought Wi-Fi on the airplane so that I could talk <laughs> so you can see it. I was so I, I wanted to feel in. I mm -hmm. wanted to be in with everybody. Me too. And I says the minute you get that fucking face, you send it. Oh yeah, I saw the face for a second and I was like, okay, got it. You <laughs> sent it and I moved on. You sent it and I went. <laughs> I, I can't believe that stream's face. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we have all the reactions here, guys, so we're going to watch them all. But he's by far the oldest. Wait, did Hassan do one too? Yeah. Yeah. Is it? I don't see his on. Oh, it is. Right here. I don't think he soyed out as much as Anthony did. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see about that. <laughs> it's, it's, such, it's like 10% different than I was imagining, but very close. What the hell? You are so handsome, bro. Thank you. Wow, you too. <laughs> And then, ugh, look, he's not a bad looking guy. I'm not gonna say he's not bad looking, but like, I'm not, I, I, beauty's in the eye of the holder, whatever. They fucking built his ass up like he was Brad Pitt. All these people sucking his dick, talking about how handsome he is. And then when, when he, it came time to show the world his face, everyone, like, li, and this was fucked up, granted. People are like super mean about it. But I'm just saying, the whole setup, the way that Dream turned this into a whole big event, right? where he called out all these famous YouTubers and had them live react to his face, like... He set this insane expectation that was going to be only resulting in him getting bullied. That was the only outcome that could have possibly happened, you know? And then he's got all these all of his friends who are trying to be nice and be like, God, you are so fucking hot, dude. That seemed to be like the running theme of it. 
you're so fucking hot, dude. And he accepts that compliment immediately. He always goes, thank you, bro. <laughs> and I'm just saying, you know, I'm so, uh, he's, just like an, uh, he's just like an average looking white guy. And I mean that with peace and love, of course. You know? So I don't know. He set himself up to fail here. That's my, that was my opinion from the beginning. I found the thing just kind of weird. And I felt a little bit... Isn't his looks not supposed to matter uh, from a dude? I just felt, the whole thing just felt so weird to me. I couldn't pinpoint what was so off-putting about this whole dream face reveal hype and having people react to it. I think I might know. What? He didn't call you. No, stop it. <laughs> jealous. I would have been like, you're fucking jealous, dude. Yeah, bro. Ah! <laughs> I'd be like, yo, is this dream? <laughs> See, should have, should have called you. That's good content. That would have been great. That would have been. People great. saying Hassan uh, was pretty soyed up. I'm gonna watch it then, cause he's not getting a pass either. It's like Anthony's in. But look at this face, bro. You ever see someone's face and freak out? Like, maybe if he looked like <laughs> that one meme. Can I show it? Which? The fat, the fat black dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. It sh someone sent me that. Well, I already said it. I'm going to show it. That would have been unexpected. Yeah, I mean, that would have been funny. <laughs> it wouldn't have been what? What are you saying, Dan? It would have been funny. Oh, okay. That you're trying to distance yourself. <laughs> Real funny, huh? Let's wrap it up. I'm, I'm waiting for the meme. Because this, this was going around, and I thought it was funny. Like, if this, you know... A little unexpected, but like you, he literally hit random generated face white person Skyrim uh, AI. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, for pretty vanilla man, which is That's fine. Funny. I don't know. I think it's totally I think fine. You're <laughs> over. You're over hating. No. Once again. Once is, again, I submit said, into evidence. Ethan is the real hater on this show. He I, once set he hit forty, man. Up, he set himself up. He did this whole fucking thing about like, oh, look at my face. Yeah, I don't disagree with you on that for sure. He like, was setting sort himself of up to like PewDiePie if he had like a sculpted, beautiful Swedish face. <laughs> PewDiePie is very handsome. We agree on that, right? He is. Yeah, sure. Very like handsome. a perfect face is ridiculous. He's perfect. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's true. The man is insanely handsome. <laughs> so, uh, um, <laughs> I don't know. This is funny. I don't know. It's do me dream. Thank you, everyone. Dream face reveal. I don't know why. You know what? I'm, don't ask me to explain it. Or to, I don't. I don't. I'm just saying it was. It made me laugh. Okay. I'm sorry. Please. It's the pose and everything. It's so. so funny. <laughs> I don't know anything about who that guy is, but I'm sure he's a great dude. Love that guy. Um. So, but yeah, let me show you the face. Actually, maybe it'd make sense if you saw his face. This is weird. Hello. Before you see the reactions. I, I don't know. I don't I don't know how to do this. I feel like I feel like I was waiting I was waiting to figure out how to do it and I was like, I'll just wing it and then now I'm sitting here like, alright, well what do I do? Do I just like rip the band-aid off and turn around? Okay. Obviously I can't just turn around. Yeah, there's uh, a decent amount of preamble here if you wanna say what? There's a decent amount of preamble here if you wanna skip ahead to the reveal. Me like gets in bed too. There come to America. That's it. That's the face. And like, he's, like he is, yeah, he's, he looks good. He looks good. Yeah. Actually, you know what's crazy is, um, he's got a chiseled jawline. Give him yeah, the guy's got a fucking mean jawline, yeah. dude. Chiseled. Look at that. Chiseled is right. Wait, you guys got a tweet? You remember when it was leaked that it was like a super big, uh, larger gentleman? Yeah, I mean, that's totally it, it, him. It is him. Yeah, after you see what he looks like. Which makes me like, dude, it's so fucking dope that he lost mm -hmm. what looks like 300 pounds or something. No, but. he definitely worked super hard. By the way, thank you for this message, Dream. Happy birthday, Ethan. It's not my birthday, bro. Stop. Put the sign down, idiot. 41? No. 41. My, my birthday. Yo! Not even close. Oh, happy birthday. There we go. <sighs> What did I do to deserve this disrespect? And many more. Ethan Klein talk shit about Dream. That's yeah, so did. somebody actually did end up leaking his um, ID. 
he insisted it wasn't him and stuff, but it was definitely him, and that's fine. I understand why he, he did that, but I, I think it would be cool if he embraced this story because uh, it's fantastic. The transformation's amazing. I mean, shout out, you know. Love that. Inspiring stuff. Dreamy. Dreamy dream. Anyway, so yeah, that was interesting, but so here he is, you know. Just some white dude. He's a 6 out of 10, you know? I need to see the whole body to give him a per, per, real judgment there on the score. I think he looks awesome. I've got one qualm. Oh. Uh oh The I, nails. Oh, shit. Sir, we gotta cut the nails before the face reveal. It was the first thing I noticed, too. Really? I yeah, only noticed yeah, yeah. it. You guys pointed it out. Yeah, I was about to send it, but I was like, oh, let me not be a... No, send not, it. Not, I no, not it's complain. the first thing I, I look at, honestly. By the way, this kind of hit home, too. I'm sorry to say. There's something, <laughs> there's something here. I'll tell you what it is. I wonder if Dream has cats. <clears throat> He had yeah, a cat. he was holding a cat in the video. Oh, right. Yeah. You know what it is? It's like he hits this one angle on his face. There's Come and, move here. And listen, with me and stop not been living. Li listen, it's hard to put yourself on the internet, and I get it. It's hard. Um, not everyone can be as accepting as of their beast bestiality, and not like that. I fuck animals. Just that I look <laughs> like a beast. Yo, homie looks like he has massive hands. Really? Let me catch a let me catch Go a back look a little bit. Little See those mitts. Yeah, dang. Thanks for pointing that out. Let's take a look. I didn't see the hands in the timeline. Let it play. Yo, show me those show me those paws, brother. <laughs> you saw hands? <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing it. Yeah. He's waving his hands around. Just if you just let it play, it'll happen. Yeah, so he hits I think what reminds us of Shane is he hits that one angle and Shane does that too. Where it's like just one angle like this. Just this side of his face. I don't know. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Hold on. Um here is Dream Face Reveal. Oh, is that what you're talking about? You can see his nails. <laughs> if you zoom in real quick. You at the beginning. All right, so let's look here. Because that was the that was like the home page before it's premiered. It yeah. was just it was this just image this. of his nails. You still, I see. So you're just staring at it. Yeah, I was I I was given ample time to like mm. fully absorb okay. the nails. So what's your criticism here? It's just it's really long. Super honestly. long. Yeah. yeah. It, there's a lot of white at the top. He got those uh, cocaine nails. Mm. If you have the Not whole world long. watching. Huh? It's not as long as a cocaine nail, or even a guitar playing nail. It's long enough that I noticed it, you know? Mm -hmm. But I think he looks wonderful, he just needs to bite his nails, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up that habit. So, so there we go. The uh, work on the, on the uh, nails there, Dream, is right. the comment from, from our team there. But besides that, slay. So, you're noticing his big hand here, uh, AB? What's going on? Why are we pointing this out? Uh, when we were watching the video earlier, like five seconds earlier, his hands looked really big. Very cool. The, uh, bro, are you trying to make me feel insecure or something? I mean, what are you I trying mean, to do I mean, I don't know. Here? I don't know if that's the point of Dream if you're hiring. shitting on him. You think that's the whole point of shitting on him? I'm Jealous of the hands. Oh. Didn't get the call. I didn't realize Chiseled chin line. Huge. His age, his hands, I don't know. Oh, here, here it is, A.B. Okay, A.B. points out that he has giant hands, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, there was one point where he was waving them, and they looked really big, but then you skipped back, like, 54 seconds, and I lost He it. didn't want to see it. They look normal to me, A.B. I don't know what you're fucking freaking out okay. about. Those are some normal-ass looking hands. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but this is fucked up, what you're trying to do to me, A.B. Okay. You've got to tone it down. You just, you know, you're mm -hmm. sitting there, you're all fucked up on Cody, and I get it, you're feeling good. <laughs> but you got to take a step back, bro. <laughs> okay? Had enough of you today. My mom's going to call me again. I say, stop making fun of Ethan. She said that? Yeah, when that random channel posted that Majin Buu highlight. Oh, she oh, said, she said stop. Yeah, his mom saw the clip where he <laughs> said, you look like Majin Buu, and she called him <laughs> to chew him out. She's that. right. I'm glad your mom told you that. And don't, and you should give me her fucking number, because <laughs> it gets out of hand, I'll put our moms in touch, and then you're really <laughs> fucked. All right, anyway, back to, uh, <clears throat> 
the dream shenanigans. They might also still do it. You know, I love you guys, but sometimes the little little. Is this hand huge, AB? It's massive. What you... It is. <laughs> it, it looks tiny. big to me. Wait, what? What love? I think it looks tiny. It's just like, look. Oh, I have a giant hand. Maybe, look. yeah, some kind of illusion. Doesn't look, look massive. Yeah. I mean, when you're staring at, at his hand, looks fine. It's normal. When you're staring at small hands on such a consistent basis, sometimes you know can throw off your here's, perception hey guys, a little here's, bit. Here's the size of AB's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, actually, Hassan would disagree. It is a crazy long penis. Yeah. Wait, Hassan? Wait, Hassan's yeah. seen your, your pec? Yeah, he saw it. Yeah. Long story. It's well, a 12 inch, but I give it a light six. All right. Well, I, w I had it in the show for tomorrow, but since we're talking about what's it. What's the context? How did you see it? Here, I'll show you. I just was yeah, asking for some happened. advice with stuff and it just came up. Hassan pee pee reveal? I don't think we can show the video. Oh, he. Oh, this is vulgar. What the the? You play it, but I don't think we can watch the video. Wait, he's looking at a sweatpants shot from when you posted. Visibly here, here it is. Spoiler alert! Okay, this wait. Is AB's penis. Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> this makes it look way worse. You're wearing pants. You well, didn't think we're blurring nudity? Uh, oh yeah, wearing pants. No, no, no. It, later in the video, it reflects. It looks like it's a censored version. No, I don't like this version. This is going to get us in trouble. We need to show that the, you're wearing pants. Okay. Okay. Because a reviewer is going to see that and be like, oh, it's a naked man. Oh, but he's... Okay. I, am I wrong? You know I'm right. No, I don't think so. You know I'm right. I mean, you could pull it up. What, was his edited or was that an edited version? That was an edited version. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so pull up the original. But then there's no reason to talk about it for we're pulling up the original. Oh, oh. It's a oh, meme. Oh, okay, bring yeah. it back. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a meme, come on. Bring it back. Okay. Here, I'll pull it up. I got it here. <laughs> this, is, this is good stuff. <laughs> yeah, his penis. I, he has such a long penis, man. I can't get over this. Like, it, it is a crazy long penis. Oh, he's wearing our shirt. Shut the fuck out, Hassan Abbey. Like, actually wild. Did I miss it? It's like skinny. Wait, what oh, did you open? Now you you opened the original. This AB isn't even the sent me this What thing. are you doing? Okay. AB did that. Everybody saw. <laughs> is this not it? No. So what is the link you sent me, AB? Yeah, he's on some wisdom. This is the so. one that's not an edit. <laughs> no, I meant not blurred. Let's no. move. Let's we move, move on. Let's on. move on. Yeah, let's Please. Real. He's Jesus. Talking, he's not even talking about me. <laughs> None yeah. of this is yeah, even relevant. Dream, it was an offhanded comment that's turned into a whole dream thing now. Dream says your dick is this big, so I'm yeah, confused. Dream is right, okay? Dream is right, yeah. Hassan is wrong, my dick is small. Yeah, Let's that's, keep going. I mean, that's just... I asked... <laughs> Alright, anyway, that's Dream's face, everybody. Fantastic. We gotta do our ad. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that was a great block of content there, huh? <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the power of live. We would have cut that shit out. I thought For that sure. just had a sound bite. I was just trying to alley you move alley up. Yeah, no, it was it was a uh, never mind. We gotta do our ad. <clears throat> well, I'm not done with the story. Okay. I was just getting started. Look at Anthony. Let me at least finish Anthony. Okay, fin finish Anthony. So here's Anthony freaking out over <laughs> generic white boy, white boy from Ohio. It's so fucking weird talking to you face to face after you're just a floating voice. <laughs> True, that'll be soon, hopefully. Are you nervous revealing your face to all your friends? Oh shit! You're a real fucking human. It's true. Dude, I have no idea what I was expecting. Are you are you nervous revealing like are you nervous before you call? Yeah. I was very nervous. Yeah. I feel like up until up until the last two days I had no weird. I guess Welcome to the uh This was my just the my favorite part. You are so handsome, out. bro. Thank you. Wow, you too. <laughs> it's so fucking weird talking to you face to face after you're Anyway, there you go. He sewed out a little bit in the beginning. Okay. Holy shit. I have no idea what I was expecting. There it is. Thank you. Let's do our ad. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Thank you, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring us today. We love, love, love ExpressVPN. You know what's not fair? The fact that Netflix hides thousands of shows and movies from you based on your location and then has the nerve to increase their prices on you. I love that. Unbelievable. This is about declaring war on Netflix. That's right. They've just raised their prices again. Now, you could cancel your subscription in protest, which a lot of people have done. Their stock is down 60% or something insane like that. Or you could be smart about it and make sure you're getting your full money's worth by using ExpressVPN like I do. See, you might not know what's on Netflix in your country. You might... I'm having a hard time here today. See, you might not know what's on Netflix in your country. That This is... Ri- Am I crazy? Am I reading that fucked up? See, you might not know what that what's on Netflix in your country is completely different from what somebody in the UK or Japan has on there. It's the it's the is. It goes, what's on Netflix in your country is. And I was like, what? Yeah. I can see why I tripped you up a little bit. See, you might not know that what's on Netflix in your country is completely different from what someone in the UK or Japan has on theirs. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I haven't thought about that once. Huh. Using ExpressVPN, I can control which country I want Netflix to think I'm in. ExpressVPN has over 90 countries to choose from, so every time I run out of stuff to watch, just switch to a new country to unlock some new shows. And right now, I'm watching on... So, did you know that Netflix Japan goes so fucking hard? You've mentioned this. Yeah. They have all the Miyazaki films. Okay. Which you cannot watch in the United States for some dumbass reason. I think it's like a distribution IP fucking thing. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Lots of ins, lots of outs. But the point is, if you're into that, I think there's a lot more anime and Japanese shows too, which is the kind of stuff that I'm really into. So if it's not available in the U.S., all you do is go to ExpressVPN, change your country to Japan, and Bob's your uncle. You're watching that shit. You know? Here's the best part. It's not just for Netflix. You can use ExpressVPN to unlock shows on other streaming services, too. BBC, you know, iPlayer. It's free and only available in the UK. ExpressVPN is also super fast and works on your phone, tablet, even smart TV. So you can watch your shows on the big screen with zero buffering time. Smart TVs now. Wow. ExpressVPN. How about that? So stop paying full price for streaming services and only getting access to a fraction of their content. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash h3. Don't forget to use my link so you can get three extra months of ExpressVPN free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash h3. ExpressVPN.com slash h3. Get get, uh, three months free by using our link. Okay. That's enough to finish an anime series. Or One Piece, if you watch it every day. I'll, if you watch One Piece 24 hours a day for three months, you might finish it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Thank you, thank you. We're working through it, people. We're doing it. All right, back to the dream stuff, because I was actually enjoying talking about that until I don't know what happened. We got off in the fucking swamp lands with that. Um... So here's some of the reactions. Let's take a look. Larray. Let's take a look here. I'm so nervous. Dream, FaceTime. Hi, Dream. You're a bottom. I don't know why, but I'm so... What? Did he say you're a bottom? Yeah. Is that real? I got in trouble for that, and Dream just came out and said it. That's not real, is it? Wait, he posted that. Wait, what the fuck just happened, bro? <laughs> that can't. What? Hold on. It's I'm fake. so nervous. Surely. No, but it's on Larray's Twitter. It's his official Twitter. Yeah. But there was a lot of people just posting fake yeah. reactions, just fake calls. So, so did he not have a real one? Dream FaceTime. Hi, Dream. You're a bottom. I don't know why, but I'm so. Yeah, nervous. I'm guessing that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, what's the real one? It was that's the only one he posted. All right. I don't know why, but I'm- there it is. He's a bottom, apparently, according to Dream. Not my words. Would never say that about anybody. Uh, wouldn't possibly speculate on such a thing. It's 
completely inappropriate. Carl Jacobs from Mr. Beast um, reacted. Dream is calling me right now on FaceTime. I'm about to see his face for the first time. I'm actually nervous. All right, here it is. Oh shoot, what the heck? You look like a baseball player. You scream baseball player to me. <laughs> Wrong, like a bit of a mullet. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but he's running the mullet. Wait, I don't know what I expected you to look like. You're actually handsome. This is this is messed up. You're not supposed to be attractive, Dream. People are gonna be pissed now. Thanks a lot. Look, I'm a normal guy. <laughs> there it is, uh, handsome. Everybody's building up the handsome narrative, which we love, of course. Tommy in it, in it. Tell me shit in it. Dream. It says dream. It's, it doesn't look, it says dream. Oh my god. Is Tommy in it in, in the flesh? Now, <laughs> I, 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 now again, that, that was, that, that's a lot. I'm just saying, now Tommy in it's a sweet guy. He has good fans and stuff and he's, you know, we love him, but it's just a guy. Um, you know, okay. All right. We get it. In the flesh. No! <laughs> I'm freaked out. This is weird. I wanted to pick up and go pass, and I was just looked at you and I like froze, man. I literally <laughs> give us the entire tour of you. There it is. Let's go to Hassan's, bro. That's the one that I really want to see. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yo. Oh, dude, no, dude. As, as careful as possible. No, dude. No, that's unacceptable. That's that's not acceptable. Why not? No, no. I thought you were gonna be worse looking, dude. No, no, it's not happening. Thank you. No, Thank that's you. that's bullshit. It. That's bullshit. We're we gonna chill. We're gonna chill in a week. We're gonna we're gonna kiss at TwitchCon. That's not that. It wasn't that soyed out. Just be nice. I can't go in too hard on the song for that one. I think Addison Ray is my favorite. Oh, Addison Ray. That's. Did I skip that one? Yeah. yeah. This is the best one. Yeah. This is okay. Here we go. Music. <laughs> Addison. Yes. <laughs> Addison. Is he friends with Addison Ray? Like she's looking the weirdest creator um, combo ever. Didn't they have a lot of like social media interaction like last year, year before, and everyone was like, Addison does not know who Dream is. I don't Isn't remember. There, like, some, weren't they like tweeting at each other or something? I kind of remember that. I'm looking into it now. Isn't this one fake probably too? Because it's just short. There's no proof it's actually him. Uh, the reason why yeah. I thought it was real is because Mr. B said I just saw his face as well and re uh, replying to Addison. Wait, what? You think that she faked it? That'd be yeah. so bizarre. I'm almost sure of it. Why wouldn't she post the whole thing? Yeah, I think why? a lot of people faked it. What? Just to get on clout? Because it's not a joke. <laughs> this is like genuine. 150k likes. I think it probably brought him like a, a sense of comfort to have so many creators back him before he did his face reveal. So on it, like maybe it's just a super nice thing that, like if Ad if this was fake from Addison, maybe it's like she was throwing him a bone. Really? Her audience. But did he know like? If she just went out and faked this, that, I don't know. I'm, I, that's crazy to me. I don't know about that, but I, I, Sam was right. She did dedicate a tweet to him last year, and people were like, how do you know who Dream is? What did she tweet? Um, Dude, there's no way that's fake. That'd be so insane to fake. It feels so weird. Why wouldn't she post the whole thing, though? It's just a little teaser, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, she says, I've been having... Wildly vivid dreams again, and he said, "Question, question, you again." Okay, whatever. Should we do a poll? There's no fucking way this is fake. That. Addison. But he says he said Addison. Addison. Yeah. Okay, apparently people are out here faking reactions to it. There's no way. It's too weird. Here is Bella Porch. You guys said this one's pretty good. Friends of the show, obviously. Oh, hello. Hi. It 
he's off. <laughs> you should have kept the mask on. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. She's the only one keeping it real, dude. <laughs> Put the mask back on. What the fuck, man? But, you know, yeah, ultimately I was like, he's setting himself up for failure with this because I think the faceless thing, he got a lot of little fangirlies who just, they fantasize that he's this perfect chiseled faced uh, king. And now he's just a dude that looks like Shane Dawson. That concept of like romanticizing the voice of the Minecraft player that you watch, like, I will never understand that. I'll be honest, I don't think he would got be anywhere near as popular if he showed his face. You think? No, because they got so obsessed with this notion of the mystique. Like, yeah. Yeah. That guy, Corpse, he's Corp never showing his face. I now. guarantee you, Corpse' husband is a fucking ghost. That dude is busted, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, I, I, you know, peace and love, we, we, you know, great guy and all that. i just saying that dude has fucking hit every branch on the fucking ugly tree. Oh, come on. I'm just saying, bro, there's, all, I, 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 oh. there's no way that guy's handsome. And I only say that because everybody's got this little fantasy about him. But uh, that dude has got, you know. They just build so well. It's so hot. Right? That's what it is. They just build very well online. Well, Corp is Corpse a Minecraft player? There's so much more to it than that. There's so much more to it. Um, Corpse, he may, I think he's just general gaming, and then he does his music. Yeah, he's is, a musician. Right, now. right, right. Yeah. Something. And people are saying I'm so mean today. Maybe you're right. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, a little uh, bit. I'm just having fun. You know, I, I, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying anything personal about them. They're both, everyone here is nice and sweet, and we love them. Just trying to do an analysis. <laughs> but yeah, I'm saying Corpse husband, when he when his mom gave birth, she tried to put him back in. Okay. Just saying. That's normal, right? But then she heard his uh, his voice. And oh hey mama. You gotta stay. <laughs> Mommy. And she said we gotta get you on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, Corpse husband dad, when he when he gave birth to him, he tried to switch him out with another baby. But they don't. That, mm. That's hard to do these days. There's a lot of people in the chat asking who's breathing on the mic hard. That that was a breath that Corpse Husband released as like a audio file for, well, to his fans. So that, is, that it's so hard not to make fun of these people. And I do it with peace and love. This man put he tweeted out an audio file of him breathing, and people lost their mind about it. Play it, Zach. <sighs> He literally posted that himself to do some kind of weird, uh, uh, what's it called? Bait, uh, being hot? Thirst trap. <laughs> thirst trapping. You mean being hot? Sexual fantasies. Yeah. So, I don't know. And, by the way, these are the biggest craters in the world. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, is this, this is a real photo of him? Yeah, this corpse. Oh, he's, he looks, he looks hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his face is probably looking like. You know, he's been pumping his hand to get those veins. That's his. He's been pumping himself. Yeah. So, yeah. So, <laughs> do you think he was curling or something to get his veins all yacked up? <laughs> probably. That man must, yeah. must jerk off he, a lot. Man. It's he so, probably has his tourniquet on and everything. <laughs> he. Oh, you think he like did like? When Hell yeah. He died off. Dude, you're so right. It's crazy how these guys know what they're doing. Yeah. But there he is. I mean, he looks jacked, bro. Doesn't that mean you're, like, dehydrated? If yeah. your veins are, like, popping like that? Is that hot to be dehydrated? I don't know. Oh, I, here's his hand. This is his real hand? Oh, my God, Daddy. Yeah. Zaddy. I got corpse hands. I, want, I could feel those hands all over me. Why is he so veiny? It's weird. I could feel those hands all over me. I hate my corpse hands, dude. <laughs> no, your veins don't look like that, Cam. His hands are insanely veiny in this. You're right. He got me beat. But he I think he was veins. doing... Try to do something with your hands to make it super veiny, and then let's see. Like, squeeze it a bunch or something. I don't know how you do that. And I'll go... <laughs> 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 
This is going to get us demonetized right here. Sexual content. Yeah, it's very sexual dance. How does he do that? Yeah, I'm and trying to think. Sexual dance. I'm, I'm trying to think what his uh, his face looks like. But I'm not going to do that anymore because that's mean. Moving on. <laughs> we love these guys. They're great guys. Uh, but yeah, people were super mean about it anyway. People, that like the minute he did his face for a reveal on Twitter, it was like, "Dream ugly," or "He's ugly." I was like, "You guys are out of control. I'm so mean." But I felt ugly. No, don't say that, Fusi. I felt worthless. Don't say that, no, bro. No, no, no. I felt gay. What? I felt that no, uh, like that just based on what they told me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, there it is. Uh, whatever, whatever. Oh, here's some viral tweets about it. And these are people's, don't, you can't accuse me of being mean. This is what other people said. Well, who, this is some. Rumpel Stilskin. Oh, shit. That's what I'm saying. He set himself up. If he didn't make it such a big deal, people wouldn't be calling his Rumpelstiltskin looking ass. Dream after showing face for the first time. Who wants me? Oh, that's not true. People love Dream. How dare you? As a professional Dream hater, I was low key worried, but bro pulled through looking like Rumple still skin. These people are so wild, man. It is funny, though. As mean as it is, it is funny, you know. He's a beautiful man, though, and we love that for him. Society of Dream put the mask back on. Oh, come on. That's, that's mean. Report this tweet, you guys. It's bullying. Every side of Twitter coming together to collectively roast Dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God, Dream. Who's this? It's from Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, Jimmy Neutron. Got it. Okay. It's not the worst comparison. You got a nice jawline. Ugly white guy? <laughs> He's not ugly. And why we gotta roast this dude, whoever he is? That guy's a king, too. Stop it! Don't be mean. I felt ugly. Don't say that, Fusi. It's not you. It's them. I felt gay. That's... I don't understand that. I felt that no, uh, th like that just based on what they told me. <laughs> it just cracks me up how he knew so hard how he fucked up immediately. <laughs> uh, he looks racist. This one I thought was very funny. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Okay, sorry. I he's, am, of he, course, a white supremacist. He's ugly was trending. Put the mask back on was trending. That's just mean. That's mean. If I was Dream, I'd delete Twitter for real. My aunt's wedding, Dream's downfall. <laughs> Fucking these people are just monsters. <laughs> Why are you such monsters, man? He's not ugly. How dare you? Dream is ugly as fuck. That got likes? You didn't even try to be funny. Dream stands forcing themselves to think Dream is hot. Wow. Well. I wonder who are these people fans of if they're like dedicated dream haters. Is there like a competitive mine, uh, someone on the Minecraft community who's beefing with possibly? The Roblox player. Roblox? Are they more Roblox <laughs> than Minecraft? The Roblox communities mm -hmm. coming together. <clears throat> I think these... pe people are in love with the, the fantasy of him. That's it. That, that is what I think why people are, oh my god, he's looking. Because it's not what they pictured in their head. Pretty, pretty much nothing would have been would have been good, I feel like. Right. Nothing would have lived up to the hype. Exactly. Because everyone has their own version of dream. <clears throat> you know, short of looking like Ta it's Jonathan Taylor Thomas. You guys remember he was the heartthrob? Yeah. <laughs> I was so jealous of him when I was really in middle school. Really dating yourself? Holy shit. When I was in middle school. Olivia's like, who? All the <laughs> Who is that? He was the cute boy from... Home time. From Home Improvement, Thomas. which was probably canceled by the time you were born, this Olivia. That's so. old. Yeah. No, now he looks. It, he has a it, jewel in his mouth in the first paparazzi pic I found. He didn't age well um, because he used to be so cute. Young. <laughs> well, it kind of happened so with, with uh, <laughs> Jonathan Lipnicki, the kid from uh, um, the Tom Cruise movie. You know what oh, I'm talking about? Um, yeah, J J McGuire. Toby, uh, not Toby. Toby McGuire. Jerry yeah. McGuire. Toby Jerry McGuire. Yeah. And then he Jerry's was in that brother. movie, The uh, Little Vampires. Like, he was a cute kid growing up. Wait, you know? what? This is what he looks like? Oh, my God. 
This is what I'm saying. Like, look at there's a jewel in his mouth. It's that baby face King. syndrome. I feel bad. Yeah. Look, I'm not saying that he he's handsome, he's successful, whatever. But this always happens, and it's and you know, thank God it does. When you go to high school. <laughs> And there was this one guy that was so fucking hot that all the girls loved. The girl that I was in love, I was in love with was she was liked him, and it just wasn't fair. And the dude now he grew up, he lost all his fucking hair, he gained a little oh, yeah. weight. And he is not looking good at all. Hmm. Now I don't hate this guy. I don't know him. And from what I know, he's actually a super nice guy. Nothing wrong with him. But I look at that and I say, thank. Shout out Ethan in high school. You fucking <laughs> that guy. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Yeah. The only reason you. I have a Facebook, check in on these guys. Right, right, right. But when he was a young man, all the girls loved his ass, and I was so jealous. I wanted to look like him. Look how look how beautiful he was. Look at that. He and he got like the perfect little part. Mm -hmm. Look at this fucking bowl cut, dude. That was it. My hair was too curly in a bowl cut. I thought if I could just have a bowl cut, the girls would like me. <laughs> Serious. That's what I thought. You know? So there it is. There was like a, a neighborhood bully uh, in my neighborhood growing up. He used to beat the shit out of me and my cousins. And then he moved away to Atlanta and he came back when we were older and we like significantly outgrew him. He's like 5'4". And oh man, my cousins just had the time of their life roasting his ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's good. Good for them. It's good to get that. But that, you know, that's actually... You guys should take comfort. Young people who are still in school and feeling bad about themselves, just know that in 10, 15, 20 years, that dude who you're jealous of, is his life's going to be a wreck, bro. I felt that no, uh, like that just based on what they told me. Um, okay, tone down your aspirations there a little bit, Jonathan. They're way out of your league, buddy. <laughs> um, anyway. Boom. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> it's, so... it's a very non-linear episode today. <laughs> Should I snort? Yeah, talk about Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that oh, name man. in he 25 years. Oh, right. That's what most people would know him from. Yeah. He's the voice of Simba the in, the original, Simba in the original Lion King. Oh, my King. God. Lion King. Oh, that's okay. fantastic. I yeah. That. Good for him. He did a good and job. And then he grew up to be Sir Matthew Broderick. He's like, he's like, yo, now that I'm doing voice acting, I'm just going to let it all go. Yeah. No, we love Jonathan. We could, we could Jonathan. Great guy. Did we all take codeine today? Is that what happened? <laughs> I'll take some. You got any going spare? I'm out. He's out. He's fresh I'm, out. I got a follow up appointment tomorrow. I got you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You keep your medicine. Jokes. Yeah. Dream face reveal. Yeah. Unfortunately, the Shane comparison is is a tough pill to swallow. Corpse husband watching Dream getting devoured on the timeline. This was great. I get the meme. I am a fan of uh, Euphoria. So I'm right. I've got that joke. I'm right in there with you guys. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's ugly. Let's fucking go. Dude, I gotta say, he looks a lot like Farquaad. <laughs> That's probably the most on point comparison I've seen. He looks like two Shrek characters. Who's the other one? Rumpel uh, foreskin. Oh, that was Rumpel a Shrek character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top. If, actually, if you, interestingly, if you Google white, <laughs> it's love who is the second result. Is that right, love? It's on gift searches on all platforms like WhatsApp, Yee. Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> Twitter. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It's just white and white followed, man and white male. <laughs> <laughs> followed by the do si do <laughs> kid. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a good accomplishment. I don't mind it. It's funny. I yeah. wonder if the immigration lawyer will accept that as a uh, I, token I so. of uh, notoriety. Mm. Yeah. Because we, we have to... Wipe this man. Top of, the, <laughs> top of the gift charts. We're working on getting Love a special person uh, visa. Is that what it's called, Love? Something like that. I don't really know. You're very uh, special. special. Very oh, special. You're very special, <laughs> you're Love. Good. You're very <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um... And so we, we have to get prove that he is famous. He has notoriety. Mm -hmm. He is all those things, obviously. He's love. Yeah. Oh, but I, I do think that this might actually count for something if we can find a way to... Yeah. Put me between your legs. I don't know if you can instruct <laughs> the uh, officer reviewing your case to go to Giphy and type white. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I'll do that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> they'll understand. Camp says he sees you as number one now. So congratulations. Yeah, I'm not joking. <laughs> He's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you guys. Thank this you. This is huge. Where's the fucking mm -hmm. visa at? That's number one, motherfuckers. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so that's Farquad. Yeah. I was the first person to call Dream ugly. These people are so mean, dude. Nah, he ugly. The first one. Ah. Uh. He did say that he's um, desensitized to the hate, though. Because regardless now, despite all the hate, um, he'll have more opportunities now. That he can actually show his face. Sure, yeah. It's certainly that's true. That's true. He did a good thing. I mean, it was smart in that he built up this crazy, huge audience. Now, but I, whatever. I talked about Dream Enough. Fuck it. Bro, you're fine. You're like, God, the resemblance is crazy here, though, isn't it? Let's go! Yeah, he also cheated in Minecraft in the most embarrassing way possible. But there it is. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! There it is. Uh, let's see Mo Mark Rober, actually. How old is Mark Rober? He's got to be old. Uh... And he has kids and shit, which makes this a little extra spicy. 42. This man is 42. Even older than the joke age you guys give me. <laughs> does he have kids? He does, right? Yes. Okay. So here's a 42-year-old dad. Reacting to 23-year-old Dream's face for the first time. Whoa! <laughs> is this really you? Yeah, this is me. There's my look. There's the, there's the proof. Bro to bro, you're a pretty good-looking guy, man. I don't know. I figured with the face thing. <laughs> so, can I, I'm recording on my computer. I can post that I'm seeing Dream's face right now. As long as, long as you make sure that I'm not in any reflections or that I'm not in the footage. Yeah, like zoom, enhance, zoom. En there it is. Shock all around. The internet is shocked. But basically, uh, anyway, that's all r a long way around. We have to rate Dream's cheating controversy. <laughs> Which yeah. has nothing to do with any Absolutely of this, Absolutely really. nothing to do with that story. Oh, by the way, sorry, but here, I have to do this still. The fan art is so good. So the same little girls who were fantasizing behind the mask, now they've seen the face, nothing's changed. These are cute. This is a little odd. They get a little weirder. Oh, that's actually a really good drawing. We love that for him. This one is pretty fucking <laughs> off the wall. <laughs> now I'm getting a little uncomfortable. Have you seen that original picture? That's from a picture he's posted. Hell no. Uh, yeah, it is. Let We're, me find it. He's posting pictures already? Yeah, on Snapchat. Whoa, I'll, I'll find it. I wanted to see that. I'll try to find it. It's rare. It's a rare picture. It is? <laughs> it's a rare picture. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm the only one that has it. It's a gold but, foil. No, I can't find it. Just Okay, so... I have it on my phone. Yeah, just give me a sec. Stand by for Love's rare uh, pick. This one's... I mean, I'm not... I mean, you know, that's pretty... Really good. <clears throat> Perfect. This... What's... The, is this one a real photo, Love? This... I think it's the same, just flipped. But it, it's from mm. the same origin picture. Hold on, I, I got it, I got it, hold on. And now here, now I don't know why people have to do this. <laughs> they cut out the first kiss from the vlog, I got you guys. Who, he's, who's, why do they gotta do this? Isn't this fucked up to have him like make it out with another dude right away? A little bit. <laughs> now wild. I can maybe get some sleep without melatonin. No, you're still gonna need that. Based on the reaction of the internet, it's pretty pretty interesting. Um, bros who piss together stay together. Why are you doing that, dude? It's just not necessary. Why is it like? Stop it! Why is there so much fan art of him ma making out with and being gay? Well, he's not gay, right? He's not made any comment about his sexual orientation. I don't so who's so. gay? I don't That's know. That's his roommates, by the way. On the picture. Oh, that that's so gay. that's so fucked up. That's got to be yeah. very uncomfortable. Doesn't that make you gay? Yeah, this one is um, it's really good. It's good. Super good. 
All right, let's move on. Thank you. So dreams, cheating, uh, scandal. <laughs> Just nothing. Again, nothing. I do think his is pretty at good. All. His is really good because he hired a fucking mathematician to prove that he didn't cheat, knowing he was a cheater. That's next level. It's pretty good. I but we haven't to lot of... compare it to yet. So I, I would put his at maybe A for now. And we can move stuff around a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it did result in one of my favorite sound bites on the show. Go ahead, Zach. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! That's what he said when he broke the world record Minecraft speed run. Right. <laughs> Let's go! And then some mine c Minecraft community mathematically proved that his run is like one in a trillion odds of happening. Mm -hmm. Right. Then he hired a mathematician to be like, no, you're fucking wrong, bro. This shit's possible. And then they're like, dude, you're cheating. And he had to come out eventually and admit. He's like, oh, I had a program running I didn't know was on at the time. Yeah, okay, dude. Let's go! <laughs> so, pretty good. A. So let's move on now. New sure. content. You know what? Um, while we're here, I just realized there isn't really an update on Adam Levine. So maybe that's another one we can kind of use just throw to establish a, a baseline here. Well, so the Adam Levine one... I mean, cheating's normal, right? Cheating, it happens all the time. Right, right, right. But what about the text message? The baby. Is pretty wild. Oh, and the baby name. That kicks it up at that least a tear. Up. He was going to name his child after the woman he's having an affair with. Mm -hmm. And then when I realized there was a lot, there was a lot of girls he was doing uh -huh. this with. And then when you see the text messages of him being like, dude, your body's insane. Just thirsty. I'm going to so have hard. to see that booty. I'm gonna need to fucking see that booty. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fuck. Should we pull up some of the text just to maybe before we place it? You I'm are 50 times hotter in person, and so am I. Ha ha ha. Oh, no, he said that about yeah. himself. No. <sighs> I, I Even with all that, I think it's a C. It's just, you know, cheating. Really? It, it's just cheating. I mean, it's... It, it, I guess it doesn't have the juiciness of like the whole back and forth with an MIT scientist and everything. So here he says, "Holy fuck! Holy fucking fuck! That body of yours is absurd." <laughs> you know he was beating off when he said that. There's like zero percent chance he wasn't dick in hand when he wrote that. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. You guys think it's a bigger than C? Because at the end of the day, I mean, C's mm -hmm. on this chart is is that's pretty low. People are saying B. I no, I know, I know, but it's just, look, he's just cheating, it's cheating, it's, I'm not saying it's not bad, it's just boring. It's like, okay, you're just another cheater. I disagree, loser, loser. no, if it was just that, I feel like the text messages kicks it up a notch. I would say C, until... I see a lot of people saying B, which I, I okay, we can, we can host it at B for now. I must say that I've had some post-coital regrets about that <laughs> phrase. For me, it's, it's the way he spelled fuck, with the... Fuck. Here, like here it is. Schooler. He goes, oh, seriously, fuck. I may need to see that booty. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the hell? That is he, so embarrassing. He for sure had phone in hand. And he's like, you know, doing that pose. That was one phone, one hand texting. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Lefty, too. You wouldn't, you couldn't possibly write something that embarrassing unless you were right. <laughs> really horned up. That's just really embarrassing. All right, all right. I think B's fair. I think B's fair. Okay, so we're on the board. We're on the board. No, we, we, got, we got a lot to get to. Also, it, I guess, while we're here, the Ethan Young Gravy. Ethan I mean, Young Gravy, I mean, that's a D. It wasn't even cheating. I feel like it's an S. That's an S, too. I think it's an S. I would never, ever, ever cheat on Ela. It was a joke. Really? Because... <laughs> It's boring. It was one pack. It's obviously F tier. I think it was kind of juicy because it was like right before your 10 year anniversary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the you timing. told her on the spot while she was watching the kids. It was kind of brutal. She was watching live. We got, maybe live, we did. Yeah. We did we get this great thumbnail clickbait. out of it. Yeah, you <laughs> live. You're watching. Probably one of our best thumbnails, eh? I'm seeing exclusively <laughs> S's and D's. I think it's a D. Very, very split decision here. But it's either an S or a D. Listen, let's be real. It's an S just because you guys are having a fun time with it. But in reality, it's a D. Let's be real. In reality? I'm, I'm taking this seriously. You guys are not. Uh, I'm taking I say C. How dare you. 
Uh, I'm going to go D. S for serious. D Ian, one more time. Uh, I'm going to go D. There it is. All right, well, if Ian says so, I can't really Ian argue with that. Then. Well, you guys do a poll. Let's do a poll. You guys want to do the joke or you want to do the real thing? Okay, because I take this poll extremely seriously. It's a joke to you guys. I see how it is. Are we, is it just between S and D? Cause yeah, S and D, that's it. There's nothing in between. Young Gravy versus... I'm taking this very, very seriously. Old Ethan. SD's nuts. Say what? SD's nuts. SD's nuts. <laughs> okay, I get it. Uh, we should do the Try Guys next, since that one's kind of trotted territory as well. Ooh, very split. Let's see. Very split poll. I'm saying D. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, close. It's get, get your votes in, guys, and please vote D. This is a serious, a serious tier list. And I understand you guys are trying to do a joke, but... It's having I'm a big dead joke serious. of it. It's not S. It's not. Come on, you guys. Why are you doing this? This is ruining the integrity of the polls. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Shame. So stupid. Shame on you all. That's an S, my friends. That's an S. I voted S. Shame. All right, it's an S. Shame. Shame. Thanks for trolling me. Freaking trolls. <laughs> all right, now let's do the try, guys, because we've already talked about this, but there was some juicy updates. Um... As you guys Ned probably Fulmer. all know, the one of the four Try Guys, who was known as the Wife Guy, it was basically his whole shtick, his whole personality, cheated on his wife with an employee. So he managed to blow up his private life and professional life in one go. Very impressive. Uh, life That's a trick shot, run. baby. Oh, yeah. Trick shot. Phase up. Phase up, baby. He grenaded his whole life, man. <laughs> pretty, it's pretty impressive. It is. So these guys were forced to put out a video explaining what happened from everybody speculating. And, uh, well, the good news is it's one of the highest viewed videos Tonight they've had in a while. Celebrity. Yeah, I mean, it crushed on the views. Hopefully they monetize that with mid-rolls. Ned Fulmer is... So here it is. ...is no longer working with the Try Guys. By now, we're assuming you've seen the Reddit threads and TikToks and tweets and news articles. We want to give you a timeline of what's transpired and some transparency into our decision making. Throughout this video, there will be things that we want to say or go into further, but as I'm sure you're aware, there are some legal issues we have to consider as we go through everything. On Labor Day weekend, multiple fans alerted us that they had seen Ned uh, and an employee engaging in public romantic behavior. We reached out to check on that employee. Uh, Ned confirmed the reports and since confirmed that this had been going on for some time, which was obviously very shocking to us. And we just want you to know that. Yo, the dude no on the system. left is ready to fucking murder oh. somebody. Oh, he's got a lot <laughs> to say. I mean, I'd be pissed too. That guy fucked them. Yeah, big so time. So bad. Yeah. For what? For what, dude? Damn. I'd pay to watch Eugene beat Ned up. <laughs> yeah, Stomp him so hard, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you said you liked this guy in the middle, huh? When I was in high school, I had a huge crush on Zach in the middle. Really? Yeah. He's got that kind of like, he's kind of he's like got dorky, that handsome, mm -hmm. and boy next door. Yeah. What's, what's, what's his thing? He's silly. He's I don't the know. silly one? <laughs> They're like all, he was like the cute one. Oh, he's the cute one? Like the mm, one. And, little and baby what, one. What's Keith's thing? Is he the soy face guy or is he? He a loves fried chicken. That's kind that's of his, his thing. personality. Yeah. Mm, okay. Cool. He has like that's a good. hot sauce brand and stuff like that. He always eats the fried chicken from like every. Keith, he eats fried chicken, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Does. Huge personality. It's a it's a big part of him. And him, what's his fashion? Thing? Okay, yeah, he's an icon. Look at that. Love. Yeah. A true artiste. So anyway. Uh, on. Uh, all of that information was just as shocking to us as all of this. Oh yeah, has do been you believe you. that? I'm still not sure that they didn't know. I mean, it's just it's hard to imagine. They were at the point of making out in public. Like I don't know. I feel. I would say. And obviously, I don't know shit. I'm. This is just based off of instinct. But I would say they probably were unaware of the relationship with the employee. But I would. Hazard to guess they were aware that Ned was not, not a good guy. 
Right. That's possible. They're probably sick of his ass. Yeah. And the reason I say that is because after this news broke, there was a bunch, because they, they, um, their whole thing started on BuzzFeed, I guess, yeah. uh, like 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And a lot of uh, women who worked at BuzzFeed were tweeting things like, this is the least surprising news wow, I have okay. ever seen in my life. So this guy is just a big old dude. I think so. I think so. Huh. I so yeah, again, I don't think that they knew, I don't think they knew he was having a relationship with an employee, but... I think he probably behind the scenes had a rep as being a horn dog. I think you're right. I think a as business owners and as they seem like decent guys, if they knew that he was having an affair with an employee, that's so unethical and possibly illegal. I don't know. Well, it just opens them up to them. lawsuits. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the woman, like it was consensual in this case, but have, you know, if she wanted to claim that she was coerced by her boss to have a sexual relationship with him, that's, that's a huge deal. So, yeah. Um, also, I failed to mention that his wife is part of the whole production and they're all friends with his wife, too. Yeah. And he's got kids. L fucking loser. This week. And thus began a three week process of engaging with employment lawyers, corporate lawyers, HR, PR and more in order to make sure we were taking all necessary steps from the jump. We were acutely aware of just how contrary this was to the values of the company we've built and those of everyone who works here. This is something we took very seriously. We refused to sweep things under the rug. That is not who we are, and it's not what we stand for. We immediately removed Ned from work activities and engaged an HR professional to conduct a thorough review of the facts. We also opted to remove Ned from our releases pending the re results of that review. Over a few weeks, that's included removing his section from videos, digitally removing him from others, and choosing not to feature him in our merch throws. Honestly, I want to give uh, major props to our editing staff for how deftly they've handled that. Who do you think we would have to edit out of promo if we ever had to do that? What do you mean? He says, shout out to the, to the team for deftly editing his ass out of the merch shoots and videos. <laughs> You're asking which one of us yeah. is most like scandal prone which that we'll one have of to you eventually guys would get I removed. Have to edit out of a merch <laughs> video. You know, let me think here. You? It have to, yeah. Me? Edit. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. Well, yeah that's the right me. answer, actually. I, I'm actually having to edit myself out of videos pretty much on a weekly basis. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody. Nobody beats me. Nobody beats me. People are saying A B. I don't think so. I was thinking Zach. Why me? I know, I know, I know. It's, 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 why? What? Why? Why, why did your mind go there, dude? I just, it, it, everyone's saying what? that. What? No, that. why? Why? Just explain to me why. Because you're Joker. What? But that's like for what the if you show. Got, like, what, what if you got arrested for what? shitting on someone yeah, long? What if public cop, indecency? Uh, you wouldn't edit me out for that. Yeah, no. Well, probably. what if they charge you for, like, a, maybe there was a kid across the street who was young and they spun it in some crazy <laughs> thing about exposing yourself to a minor? What the fuck are you talking I'm about? I'm just saying, if that happened, I'd have to edit you out. What? This is going so far off. Like, <laughs> what? Let's do a poll. I mean, it's, it's Zach. I mean, it's, it's Zach. Zach. Everybody's you know. saying but Zach. But why? What, what is, like, the... the uh, the evidence there, the 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 because you're Joker brain. He's I saying tried, because you're Joker brain. I tried to explain it as best I can, but you can't. Yeah, but it is what. Well, it I is. think Zach's the wrong answer. I think Ethan is the right answer to that question. <laughs> well, that's obvious. Yeah, but I'm in the unsavory position. People saying Ethan's it. dad, Gary. <laughs> that, that's possible too. That's actually already happened too. <laughs> or Jimmy Lee. <laughs> Jimmy, yeah, for sure. All right. Anyway, moving on. There are several videos that we've deemed as fully unreleasable. You will never see them, and that is due to his Too involvement. Graphic. And that's a decision that has cost us <laughs> lots of money. There's a lot of videos we've deemed unwatchable. <laughs> Had nothing to do with him. It was just a really bad yeah. video. <laughs> um, we will not be able to recoup that money, but it's a decision we stand by proudly. Now, we can't talk about the details of the review, but suffice to say, we found that Ned had engaged in contact, we, well, conduct unbecoming of our team, and we knew that we could not move forward with him. So on Friday, September 16th, the three of us signed written consent 
of the members of Second Try LLC approving the removal of Ned as a manager and an employee. He probably got a fat payout because I'm assuming it's like a four-way ownership. So, you have to buy him out. Speaking, you've got to pay him off to get him out, mm -hmm. right? Real quick, there wasn't a. <laughs> there's a comment about me being uh, edited out. Though Zach wouldn't be edited out, he'd be in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> you can't believe what Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Zach arrested for exposure to a minor. Oh Jesus! <laughs> we chose not to rush into the announcement for a few reasons. Namely, there are real people who have been affected, and while we consider this a company matter, I'm, there's just also a family at the center of this. Now we were always planning on a public statement. And we're working towards that with our team, but in light of rapidly accelerating speculation, we knew we couldn't wait any longer. And we were obviously incredibly <clears throat> shocked and deeply hurt by all of this. This is someone who we'd built a brand and a company with for eight years. We, uh -oh. we feel saddened, not just personally, but on behalf of our staff and our fans <clears throat> who believed in us. I don't know that we'll ever be able to fully articulate the pain we feel at this moment. It's hard to rewatch old videos that we love and are proud of. We're losing a friend. We're losing someone we, we built a company with. We have countless memories with. We, we just made a TV show together. It's, I'm sure many of you feel the same way. I have a question. I don't hate me for it. Uh -oh. I'm just simply asking because it's obviously super hard. Let's say that, that you know, these guys have been friends for decades. Their best buddies have been through so much together. Is this just a little bit, is it too harsh about like, I lost a friend? Like, I mean, you sh they, should they still be buddies? Like theoretically, if your best friend was like, yo, I cheated. It's, it's tough, I think, in the situation they're in because if they're spotted together in public, they'll get shit, I feel like. I feel they're, like they're protecting their image, the, mm -hmm. what the yeah. channel stands for, and you know that family dynamic. Right, but he also like shat all over their business yeah. and like everything that they put so much work into. For like, sure. if you're yeah. gonna cheat, why are you cheating with one of the employees that you hired to help our business? That's you know? the, yeah. Like that's fucked. Yep. Yeah, it seems people are pretty split though on the. <sighs> Uh, yeah, and they, it made, they're making it sound like he died or some shit. Mm -hmm. He's still alive. But he, yeah, it's the, if he cheated with someone else. Mm -hmm. Well, if he cheated with someone else, he may not have been extracted from the Try Guys. Yeah, he probably Like, they may have just given him handled it differently. Yeah. The sleeping with your employee thing is a big, 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 big no-no. Not harsh enough, some people are saying. We fuck, I hope that guy dies! <laughs> <laughs> I hope his house burns. I Die. hope his. I hope Ariel fucks Young Gravy. Die. It's funny. Okay, just a thought I had because it's like they come in really. Die! Die! die. <laughs> really hot here, and I just wanted to get you guys' take on that. It's weird. We're sorry that this ever happened, and we we don't know what more to say. And there's also our staff of 20 strong who they just don't deserve the negative attention our brand is now getting because they didn't do anything. But they're our family and they're some of the most talented creative minds in the world and our primary focus right now is making sure they feel comfortable and proud coming to work. The work they do never ceases to astound us and, and frankly there's just no world in which we could have navigated all of this without them. Now, there are videos that were shot ahead of all this, right? We're going to be editing Ned out like the new season of Without a Recipe, and we're working with our editors and finding creative solutions to the footage. And we also have some branded videos that we've already committed to. So when you see a video that's sponsored in a few weeks and you're like, oh, that's kind of weird. Well, yeah, it is kind of weird. Um, it's just how things are, and that, that's why. Look, I get Ned's about to be like, thank you to <laughs> ZipRecruiter. <laughs> we love ZipRecruiter. They should put like a digital uh, dream mask over him right. in all the videos they ever recorded. That'd be kind of cool. Come join us at bowling night. Just having the best time. <laughs> We're so happy. Thank you to Zip Recruiter. All right, my name is Ned Fuller.
Family man, I love my wife. Put your hands in the air. Whoop, just got a strike. Hey, give me a hug, my best friends. Whoa, I love my wife. Ow, my name is Ned. Ariel, get over here. I love my wife. Everybody, it's Zip Recruiter. Just a preview of what that video might look like. Thank you. That when stuff like this happens, there's going to be speculation and gossip. And we ask that you respect the privacy of the family members and employees who may be caught up in this. We also want to remind you <clears throat> that the internet has a tendency to be a lot harsher towards women than men. So please, we ask that you exercise kindness. Okay, player. We'd love to hear it. Although, I guess he's probably thinking about the producer. I mean, obviously. Yeah. I actually haven't seen a lot of people talking about her. But I'm sure she's getting a ton of hate, though, from their fans. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen more stuff about Ned, for sure. But, but um, she did fuck up, though. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. She sucks, too. Yeah, I mean, she, I she has both. a fiancé. I missed the mark with that one. Crazy. Things will change here. Uh, what we hope is that within this, there's also the opportunity for positive growth and better videos ahead. Uh, but it's going to be hard. It's, this whole thing is going to be really fucking hard. And we imagine you have lots of questions, a lot more questions right now. And You think he wrote fucking hard into the script? Because they, they obviously pre-prepared this. So was that an improvised fuck, or did he write that in? Uh, I think he was talk <laughs> talking about Ned. <laughs> I think it, felt, it felt impromptu. He I mean, went for it. I think he just... But do you think he was going to go for it before? He's like, I'm going to... I think he was thinking about when he was going to say fuck. I think so. Too. Drop the bomb. Just to show, show everyone that he means business. Mm -hmm. And let people Better. know it's really fucking hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I believe you. I do. I do, too. Fuck. Yeah. Videos ahead. Uh, but it's going to be hard. It's, this whole thing is going to be really fucking hard. Mm, he did it. He dropped that F. <sighs> Number one trending. Damn, YouTube, even YouTube's dogpiling on poor Neto. He knew where to put the fuck. That's why it's number one trending. Right? <laughs> Out of That's the first true, 60 huh? seconds. Technically, yep. this guy in the middle, he fucks because he dropped that fuck. Okay. You think that guy fucks? Yeah. I mean, no, he said fuck. So are, fuck. are all these guys like married or in? Yeah. <laughs> um, Eugene has a partner. I'm pretty sure Zach has a partner. I don't know if sh she and him are married. And Keith and Becky, I'm pretty positive, are married. They're partnered up. But they all, yeah, they're all partnered up. Mm. Fuck. It's really fucking hard. YouTube's like, fuck Ned, bro. I'm trending this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we imagine you have lots of questions, a lot more questions right now. And, and we're going to have more to say in the future. Uh, just right now, we're focused on bringing the best content possible between now and the end of the year and then figuring well, out. Well, th if this is part of the best content of the year, sign me up because this is number one training, baby. <laughs> 7.5. <laughs> Wish we could have a scandal like this every week. Imagine, imagine you've never watched a Try Guys video and you log on to YouTube and head over to the trending page and see what's what's going on. Oh, Try Guys, I've heard that name for years. Let me let me see what's going on with the Try totally, Guys. Totally, man. Totally. This I, must be a banger video, I, number one. Ironically, <laughs> it probably did bring a lot of new eyes to their channel. And people back, low key. I missed seeing their faces. Oh, interesting. I Let's think this see. is going to turn out to be really terrific. For well, we need to fabricate some sort of scandal here. Yeah. Zach, go outside. Zach. <laughs> Zach? Oh, it's going to be you. It's got to be you. <laughs> don't we already do that every week? Fabricate. Yeah, we don't, have to, we don't have to manufacture <laughs> shit. Unfortunately, Zach uh, raped and murdered somebody. <laughs> I just trying to think. No. With it. No. That's not even funny. <laughs> what uh, the fuck, uh, dude? It was found in a ravine with a body. <laughs> I wasn't saying create a scandal right now. He, uh, I'm just trying to think in my mind what what could rise to that. Yeah, unfortunately, he also. <laughs> you must really think highly of me, Ethan. I'm kidding. Kill Zach. the mics. Wrap it up. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> the corpse was desecrated. We found his DNA. I have been watching a lot of Dahmer. So you know. <laughs> in the bee hole. <laughs> I mean that would I'm just saying that people would watch for that. Otherwise I don't think anyone would care. 
So I the, have to mutilate, I, I, kill. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry, Zach, but I heard Zach was listening to the Jeffrey Dahmer soundtrack uh, <laughs> the Way to Shoot a Segment the other day. That was some killer tunes in that soundtrack. <laughs> the Ryan Murphy soundtrack? <laughs> Fuck the, yeah. I don't know. They some great 70s it. soft <laughs> rock in there. Soundtrack. I haven't finished that. Is it good? Yeah, watched, Jeffrey Dahmer it was from I Wisconsin. It. I was torn on it. It's kind of messed up because the victims, but also... It was good, but very repetitive. You want to go back, have right, some beers yeah. with me, well, maybe? I watched the first episode, <laughs> and I liked it. And then when it ended, I was like, wait, there's ten episodes? Of this? Yeah, I, no, the first episode, I couldn't look away. But after that, it was just very repetitive. It goes on and on, A.B. Well, come back to my place. Have some beers with me. <laughs> we'll have a good time. We'll take some photographs. Take, I'll give you $50 if you want to come back. One day we need to explain to the audience that John Wayne Gacy... Well, that, it's almost the same accent because it's that Midwest, like, <laughs> so Chicago, Zach, kinda, Milwaukee. Can you say it real quick? Zach always says... Could you say it, Zach? John Wayne Gacy from Chicago. <laughs> I don't know where it came from, but he got me saying and everyone in the office saying, I don't understand the just one of those Oh, our old bud. Yeah. Our John old Wayne. Oh, hey, Cameron, how you doing? You want to come check out a stag film at my place? Drink oh, a pop? Yeah, don't you know? We're okay. watching the bears with all John right, Wayne. All right, all right. I've lost control of the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's move on. Thank you, Zach. Zach has not done any, any crime. He's done nothing. Just a joke here, guys. I'm just saying, if that news broke... Y'all be watching. Oh, without a doubt. So that, that's it. That's my only point, you know. Come back to my place. Have some beers. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Put on these cuffs. I dress up like what Chuckles the, the Clown for you. <laughs> this channel looks like from there. <laughs> that's it for now. Again, more to come. Some things may change. We are just sort of figuring it out all one day at a time. Thank you for your support. We appreciate you. And we look forward to introducing you to the next era of the Try Guys Ahead. Bye bye, Ned, you fucking <laughs> bitch ass. The one guy, this guy fucked up his life so bad. It's kind of impressive. See y'all, partners. So <laughs> if we go over to the tier list, yes, um, uh, this one me for me is going to rate pretty high simply because. His reputation as the family guy. Mm -hmm. He's the wife guy. And then he fucked his producer. So, wow. That one's pretty good. See? And in terms of scandals, it's great. It's better than Adam's because of the See, nature I, of his reputation. I, I mean, the re yes, the reputational thing does add some points to me. But, see, I just, just disagree. I think that this is way more mundane of a cheating scandal than the Adam one. Because, like, we don't have anything funny, like, Ned wasn't trying to name his newborn after but the mistress or anything so like that. There's so much content that yeah. is available, you know? Yeah, like, with, with someone like Adam Levine, it's he's kind of unreachable, but totally. with Ned and, like, this, there's so much footage of them together. And, yeah, wasn't his whole branding that he was the wife guy? He loved yeah. his wife yeah. so much? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of with Dan, though, because Adam Levine is, like, an A-list celebrity... You it's think super he want to do? Yeah, you want to? You think he want to do something like that? But. The texts are so embarrassing for someone of his stature. Right. Yeah. But I think like there's all these mega compilations now of Ned, and they're like, oh, we knew. Mm, the compilations are good. I'll give you that. Uh, but by the way, there's a new video of them trying to work it out. That was Friday. Well, watch this. Tell me what you think. Shout out to TMZ, by the way, who never they gave us an exception. We love TMZ. Friends and so the show. Yeah. Smiling and laughing, eh? He loves his wife. Hi guys. Hey, are you guys working in working things out? Uh, yeah. Maybe. You are. We're working on working things out. Well, that, that's good to hear. Uh, hi, Ariel. Hi, Ned. Hey, what's 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 Bro, next in your career? I love how he stands in front of the car. You ain't. So and, and by the way, you're not pulling <laughs> out. <laughs> so cringe. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay, sure thing. Have a good day. Does her? She's like. She seems to be in like way too good of a mood now. I think that this I, was set up. You think? Yeah, they called the the pap. I mean, how the so. fuck? I mean, how the fuck else would he find them on some random? Yeah. And neighborhood street. They're not like. 
But why would you? The type want of celebrity that gets followed by the paparazzi, anyways. I mean, obviously, with the scandal going on, it's more likely. But but why would um she want to portray? I don't. I felt so. What this made me feel, and maybe I'm off, is that she's in way too good of a mood, and it makes me think on my earlier theory is that she knew about it and they have they just had an arrangement kind of thing well they did say that the <laughs> hr investigation had been three weeks and that like on the 16th i'm pretty sure is when they said he was f terminated or they signed that thing so it's been a second but like you're i agree with you i i think she's just embarrassed she's been embarrassed online you know non-stop and yes. she's just trying to keep her composure and not embarrass herself mm -hmm. i mean of course, it's understandable if she's sad, but she's just trying to, you know, smile it off in public. I mean, I agree that she's embarrassed. She got absolutely unfairly fucked in this whole situation. Mm -hmm. But yeah. like, I, if it was me, I wouldn't want to be seen with them. No, I. Th if someone called, my brain is telling me that it was Ned because he wants like people to think that things are okay. You think he? he Do you think he that would have done super that? Super sneaky, possibly. I mean, he seems like the worst, so I wouldn't that's put it past. That's super him, sneaky. And they have kids too. There's a lot. A lot of yeah. factors involved, so she could just be doing it for the kids, you know, trying to play it cool and mm -hmm. keeping things friendly. Yeah, I don't know. If, if it, like I said, even if you were trying to work it out, I still wouldn't be seen outside with this fucking guy for a minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. He stood up for a little bit too long next to that Tesla. He right, should have in the car right. Off. Wait, let me put, look at that again. Like Ariel, they were trying yeah. to talk to Ariel and he just wouldn't get in the car. I know that's pretty nitpicky. Nope, but. nope, you're onto something. Let's analyze this. Uh, yeah. She seems confused. Yeah. She's like, uh, why are you here? Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. Now we go over to, to Ned. You are? I'm working on working things out. Well, that, that's good to hear. Uh, hi, Ariel. Hi, Ned. Hey, what's, what's, what's next in your career, Ned? We, okay. What's next in your okay, career, sure Ned? My secretary. <laughs> what is he supposed to say? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Very fucking interesting, eh? Mmm. Mmm. Fascinating. Mm. Mm. Juicy gossip. So that happened. Mm. Hey, did you guys do, do you guys think it's worth watching one of the compilations of all the old Ned clips? Or should we move on? I've seen some. There a lot of them are reaches. Yeah. Think so. I feel like anytime any online creator gets into some kind of controversy, they could put together a compilation that I don't know. Lord knows I got plenty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how many of those clips are reaching? Almost all of them. A hundred percent of yeah. them, maybe. I've never done anything I've never wrong. done anything oh, wrong. <laughs> I'm a perfect little angel. Uh, by the way, yeah, Ela just heard, unfortunately, about uh, my comment about Zach. It was super inappropriate, and she's edited me out of the Teddy Fresh promotional material. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new <laughs> shot here. So, a fucking shredder is so scuffed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did what I could. I know, I know. I'm not criticizing. Unfortunately, um, <laughs> you guys had to edit me out. Damn. On marketing material. You got you got Stalin, dude. I missed the mark so with that funny. one. Okay, so so in the end on the tier list, I'm think I'm liking it more than Adams, personally. I agree. I'm thinking it's an A. It's an A one there. I'm going A I'd hit too. it with an S, low key. S? Like, how can you? What? What can be better that we have? You know. Uh, we haven't gone to the fish cheating yet. You're kind of right though, Olivia, because it, it's like the perfect way to ruin his whole life. Yeah, it's just like in terms of if you want to indulge in an internet scandal, as a viewer, this right. is a good one. It could have been better if there were like text messages that said, yeah. oh, that's oh, what I'm saying. Is it's like snooty. at the end oh. of the day, it's just your standard infidelity. No, it's it's not. It doesn't have. Oh, it's not. It's maybe not. it's a little bit more because you're right about the reputational better. aspect, but it's a better infidelity. Adams was standard infidelity. Well, I got. I I must admit the audience seems to largely agree with you too. They're spamming s's. Well, I we could throw it to a poll, and and I think the choice is really. I don't think we need a to. It, or it, it's, s. It's nothing but S's in the chat. You think so? Everyone thinks it's... It, it is. It's... Chat is always going to pick S. 
I think we? so. Okay. All right. I'm I'm okay with S for now. We got weights and fit. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. I have to pee so fucking bad. This gamer's <sighs> me stuff, too. Black cherries running right through. I know. I'll be right back. All right. Sup, sup, sup. Anyone here from Arizona? I am. My dear friend John Gacy. Ah, John Wayne Gacy. How you doing? Jeff Dahmer here. <laughs> so I was watching that documentary. It means I've been watching it and. Uh, well, not documentary, whatever the hell it is, that show. In the last episode, John Wayne Gacy's in it. And I was super excited. Tell us no that. way. It's a crossover episode. It, the, casting, Whoa. the casting in that show is Does he show up in the post credit scene? Like uh, <laughs> Daniel L. Jackson? No, it was yeah. like, uh, it was like Avengers. I'm recruiting. <laughs> We're like Jeff team together. And, and I'm putting together an elite team of they, serial they, killers. They casted the show so well. The guy that played Jesse Jackson was phenomenal. The guy that casted for uh, Gacy was like, Wow, like spot on. Yeah, the, the mannerisms of the Jesse Jas uh, Jackson actor was so good because I met Jesse Jackson in real life and I was like, for okay, a minute, flex. He was at my graduation. You know, my, my, one of my roommates was on heroin and ate his cannoli. Now that's a story. What you the fuck did you just say to me? One of my roommates. How did this go from Jesse right, Jackson right. to a cannoli? Let's, let's go back to the listen, beginning. Listen, children, let's talk about sit, this. take your seat. My roommate, who was on heroin, who I didn't know was on heroin. Tell okay. a story in a Midwest my, accent. My, my dad was at this dinner. He's I from the Midwest. was the guest speaker. <laughs> and uh, my right, friend, yeah. who was really high, my roommate, uh -huh. went up to Having my mom. Pop, and he yeah. goes, uh, Miss Ayad, are those cannolis for, like, anyone? And my mom's like, oh, you could have mine. She goes, just take it off our table. And my friend accidentally took Jesse Jackson's cannoli mm, and ate Jesse Jackson's up, cannoli. And my mom texts me and is like, did one of you dumbasses take Jesse Jackson's cannoli? And I was like, yeah. My boy did. My bad. Well, you I know what? Uh, drugs. Over at the Dahmer residence, we have cannolis, but it's, you know, mm -hmm. made from intestines. Right. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a good time. It's flavorful. Tastes a little bit like pork, but, mm -hmm. you know, that's just the Dahmer. That's the Chicago pork. way. At Milwaukee, excuse you. Oh. Wisconsin. Sorry. Sorry about that. Should I you want to come show? to my apart apartment, take some photos? Damn. $50. Should I watch the Dahmer show? Is it worth yeah, the investment? Yeah, it's very good. The first episode is good. Then it gets a little repetitive. Uh, I'll I don't know. Maybe like on the first. I thought Niecy Nash was fantastic in it. She played the neighbor. Oh, yeah. She's great. Uh, Evan Peters. What a hung. I, he I, did I, a great <laughs> job playing me, didn't he? He's there, a stud. Cameron. You know, he's he's, he sounds like a real stud. stud. Callahan Auto Parts. Uh, Tom Callahan. I sell auto parts for the American <laughs> man because that's just who I am. <laughs> Well, that's, um, <laughs> that's, um, it's not Callahan, it's, uh, Ray Zelinsky. Ray Zelinsky. Ray Zelinsky. Tommy boy. <laughs> I make car parts for the American man, because that's just who I am. I want to go to Chicago. I want to visit Chicago. Have it's you guys ever been? It's a good old time. You should come to my apartment. I have photo. never been to Chicago. <laughs> have a Ferris Bueller type trip out to Chicago, guys. Yeah. You killed the car, Cameron. Yep. Killed. Oh, you're even Cameron. Oh, that's yeah. true. And, oh. and I am sad, so it makes sense. You're a sad little boy. Yep. Yeah. Let my people go. Who's our uh, Who's our Ferris? Can I be George Peterson? Of course you can. Mine and Lena's first vacation together was to Chicago, and I made a fake permission slip and fake email that I sent to our school email pretending it was a school trip. Wait, did you? No. Shout out. Yeah, and Lena's like, okay. you are Ferris. Oh, did he this do that? This is not true. False. Wait, <laughs> Lena, you're lying. I mean, you're you're. Go you're ahead. Lying. <laughs> I, I just thought we were over this. Go ahead. You, you're wrong. What happened? It was a school trip. Oh well, <laughs> if your family's watching the that picture of Lena in Chicago <laughs> in the living room, I took it. So you took photos in the Midwest. Eh? Yeah, I hit myself though. How was your bathroom break, Ethan? How was great. it? It was good. I really was backed up. I have a $20 donation from Henry. It said, Dan, is there even a chance? <laughs> anybody Any, anybody I mean, know that, what that is? Oh. No, but I love it. Maybe they want you to cheat on... Was, they're asking <laughs> with, you to... With them? With Henry? Or is Henry? there even yeah. a chance? It's a, Dan, is there even a chance? Henry Dan. Hand. Maybe meant. there was an earlier dono that we missed. That Thank you for the gift. Thank you for the gift. Made Thank you for the members. Sense. Anyway, um, so. Thank you for the sure I missed some excellent chatter. Oh, yeah. But uh, alas, I'll sure I'll see some comments that make zero sense to me. Mm -hmm. It'll be a grand old time. We'll have a pop about it. I think that happened last week where you guys had, like, when I went to the bathroom, I saw a comment. I was like, this makes zero. Like, yes. I don't remember ever talking about this. If it makes you feel better, Zach was just talking like John Wayne Gacy. A lot of it didn't make sense. So it probably won't make sense to us when we read it either. Good. 
But it was a great impersonation. Thank you there, Abdella. Have you, <laughs> Abdella? <laughs> have you ever been to Chicago? I haven't, but my family is from that area. Gotcha. Yeah. Show so me like Gacy the one that looks like me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. You know, you're giving me reminding <laughs> of myself, Ethan. You know, I that look. guy. That was the dude who um, would like uh, murder his employees that worked with him at construction Ye- sites. Yeah, yes, that's him. And dressed up as a clown. And then he put. The oh yeah, he was. Th- he did clown. And then he put the remains under his. his house. Under concrete. Yeah. Well, no, just in oh, his, his. Oh yeah, um, just in the straight up. Yeah. 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 Good guy. Fantastic guy. Great guy. Great. Yeah, yeah we're we going to have a, a pop in the hell subsection A. We used to at watch the Corolla stag Milk films. Bar. We used to watch stag films together stag in his garage. Films. Like his sodomy in Wisconsin. I remember he, he was like a big member of the community. Like everybody loved him and shit. He yeah. was. Oh, like, yeah. He, he went to prison for sodomy in like the 60s and then he came out and he like studied. Sec- what was it, Cam? It was like sexual studies or something like that. Sure. Sexual dance. Yeah. What was it, Cam? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He studied sexual dances back <laughs> here in Chicago. We I did the we did the tango, the titty tango back yeah, with John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, the titty tango. He he almost got cast in a John Hughes film out <laughs> yeah. there. Oh, by the way, first of all, Gianna, happy twenty fourth birthday, and a big shout out to Dante, new viewer. You guys are awesome, Dante. <laughs> I hope you like Dante's Inferno because you're going to think you're in hell when you watch this show every week. Hell yeah. Meet us at the Milk Bar <laughs> Hell subsection B. Just kidding. Nice to have you. Okay, let's move on. So we got, we're got we on the board here. Try Guys, Dream. So this chess scandal has gotten really interesting. Uh, there's the chess champion of the world, Magnus Carlsen. You, you might actually recognize him. There's a weird phenomenon where chess became super popular on Twitch. That just really surprised me. I mean, it's not something you would expect, but... So him and a few of the other really famous chess players are pretty popular on Twitch. People say he's maybe the best chess player of all time. I mean, th- he's apparently just insanely good at chess. So what happened was on September 4th, 19-year-old Hans Niemann beat Magnus at a chess tournament, which ended Magnus's 53-match winning streak. Holy fuck! That guy's a beast. Yeah. I don't. Th- have you ever won 53 of anything? Let alone in a row. Nah. Maybe Super Smash. That's it. Super Smash. Yeah. 53 in a row. You think? Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Hans, the guy that beat him, is only 19 years old. He exploded onto the chess scene in the last few years when his professional chess rating, known as ELO, rapidly climbed into the almost 2,700 range. For comparison, Magnus's rating is 2,861. So that's way up there. Mm -hmm. Um, The next day after Magnus lost... Okay, he tweeted out this. He said, I've withdrawn from the tournament. I've always enjoyed playing in this tournament, and I hope to be back in the future. Kind of cryptic, not exactly accusatory or anything, but it's like, why did he withdraw? Well, that? Look at the video that he tweeted with it. Mm-hmm. That's what really drives it home. Oh. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble, and I don't want to be in big trouble. <laughs> That's the I man. I need the access to that clip. <laughs> like, how many times would that clip have helped me, Zach? Can you pull that? I need yeah, that yeah, guy. Yeah. I need that up. guy on my shoulder, like the little angel. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and then we need a little devil too. Soundbite. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf just going, just do it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, super cryptic. It seems like he's alluding to some kind of funny business, right? Right. He had just lost to this kid, so it seems pretty clearly something about that. And I guess just to, because the story's got a lot of twists, as we're about to find out, but when this happened, he was getting a lot of heat for this, because the perception was that he 
was just being a bad sport that he lost to somebody, you know, a young up and coming player and um, that he couldn't handle it. And then he was like, you know, throwing a tantrum essentially. Well, yeah. At the I, time, that's what people uh, I mean, thought. Th- throughout the scandal, it's basically been, I've seen a lot of people on both sides being like, dude, you're obviously just a sore loser or this dude's obvious, this dude's play is fishy. Um, the thing that's so weird about it is like you're sitting physically in person right there across the table. I mean, it's hard to conceive of a way where he could have cheated <laughs> and, and, and it not be super obvious, right? That's the part that's like, it just seems so far-fetched. So he puts out that statement. The next day on the tournament's live stream, Hans admitted that he'd cheated twice in online matches in the past, but claimed he'd never cheat in an in-person tournament. So this is interesting. And, and, and uh, I think I'm the only one who knows the truth. So. so I think this, everyone was like, yo, what the fuck? Everyone knew what uh, Magnus was saying, and so this is him kind of responding to the accusations. So there's a few things that, that need to come to light. So first of all, there's the, the situation with chess.com. Now, People have, uh, there have said that my chess.com was, was banned twice. Okay, so this is what happened. When I was 12 years old, I was uh, uh, with a friend, and I was playing Title Tuesday. And uh, I was playing, and he came over on an iPad with an engine, and I, I was 12 years old, and he said, you know, uh, uh, he started giving the moves. I was a child, I had no idea what happened. Now, this happened once in, in, in an online tournament. I was just a child, and nothing happened then. Now, four years later, when I was 16 years old during my streaming career, in an absolutely ridiculous mistake, in unrated games, after that, I had, when I was 12, I have never, ever in my life cheated in an over-the-board game, in an online tournament. They were in unrated games. And I'm admitting this, and, and, and I'm saying my truth because I do not want any misrepresentation. I am proud of myself that I learned from that mistake and now have given everything to chess. I have sacrificed <coughs> everything for chess, and I do everything I can to prove. So I'm, I'm going to get started. Basically, so, in some... I- so he put out this statement, it actually didn't help at all. Everyone was just like, once a cheater, always a cheater, basically. Uh, I feel like it, it hurt him. I was seeing a lot, there were a lot of people that thought this was big of him to, to own up to whatever cheating that he did do in the past. Well, obviously cheating at 12 is like, no, like, stupid, silly. Right. Apparently when he was 16, he got caught by the website. I, there's, I don't know, that, this website is so serious, chess.com, I don't know how they can possibly figure it out. These people are so smart that they have ways of catching people who are playing too good. Uh, yeah, well, I've been reading a lot about it, and this, spoiler alert a little bit to this story, but uh, they released a 72-page report uh, yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Um, uh, going into great detail about how many times he cheated, how he cheated. And yeah, apparently not only do they use like computer models to see how much your moves correlate to like what a computer's advised uh, move would be, but they also track like your, um, you're clicking on the screen and like changing tabs and stuff. Hmm. So say you have like one of these AI chess engines open in a second tab, they can see that you're going somewhere else um, and then coming back and then making a move. And I guess over enough time, they can kind of correlate that and make a pretty educated guess of what you're doing. The one analysis I saw that was really interesting is like, they track, like a computer knows what's the perfect move in every situation. Mm -hmm. And so they can track like what percentage of your plays were perfect computer simulated plays. Mm And apparently Magnus has like 70% um, Averaged across. Yeah, games, average. Right. And some games he'll have 100%, like it happens. And apparently this kid has been having like way too many 100% perfect match games that statistically it is almost impossible. So chess.com, as Dan was saying, issued a statement saying they had banned him from the website and that his history of cheating was much more than he let on. And they sent him evidence of this. Dear chess community, the last few days have been tumultuous. 
for many in the chess community. At this time, we have reached out to Hans Neiman to explain our decision to privately remove him from chess.com and in our events. We have shared detailed evidence with him concerning our decision, including information that contradicts his statements regarding the amount and seriousness of his cheating on chess.com. We have invited Hans to provide an explanation and response with the hope of finding a resolution where Hans can gain, uh, again, uh, again participate on chess.com. We want nothing more than to see the best chess players in the world succeed in the greatest events. We will always try to protect the integrity of the game that we love. Apparently, this chess.com is actually a big deal. It's where all the pros play. Yeah. Super well uh, uh, regarded. Pretty incredible that they're able to build such a reputable and vibrant community. Chess.com, here it is. Let's play. Here, let's play. <laughs> I don't need to make an account or anything. 200,000 people playing chess right now. 11 million games. That's incredible. I'm... Yeah, chess has had a big resurgence in recent years, mostly because of the pandemic and uh, <clears throat> lockdown, actually. A lot of people have gotten into it. Am I playing? I'm playing a real person right now? You sure are. Am I what? Oh, let's go. Oh, I'm black. Oh, it's his turn. Go. I'm a speed chess player. I don't know if you know that about me. Ow, let's go, baby. You're fucked, bro. Oh, I'm gonna take that. Big mistake. Oh, I got you just where I want you, bro. What do you mean? This is some high level play. I got his fucking his little. Oh, people are pointing out Queen's Gambit came out too. Right. You're about to get checkmated. Oh, the Queen's Gambit. Yeah. So between everybody being stuck inside and that show being a huge hit, and nobody had a big resurgence. Uh oh. Nobody's checkmating me. Wow. Ironclad the defense. Queen's Gambit. They call this the uh, Castilian um, reach around. I am the Queen's Gambit. Don't you understand? Nobody gambits like me. And I will win against all odds. <laughs> Nobody, I shall remain undefeated. <laughs> Bitch, you just got fucking destroyed by my horsey. That was, was a huge. That, that was, was a huge blunder on the guy's well, part. I was like, wait. Yeah, dude, that you was just got really blunder, bro. Bad move. Yo, you just got blundered hard. That you just got blundered so hard, bro. That's what they call the Ethan game. In fact, what are you gonna yeah. do about this? Oh shit, that's that's, that's <laughs> not a little <laughs> <bad move. laughs> Dude, you just got Ethan's gambited. <laughs> Watch this high level play. I put this here. Check this out. You should maybe, well, you know what? No, this is letting you do your thing. Not yep. Dan's gambit. Yep, yep. Hey, that's cheating. I no, didn't say anything. Ban me, Dan. I didn't say oh. anything. Dan, if you start telling me moves, I didn't, I'm you're right. on chess.com. You're right. That would be they horrible. It's very serious. They bro. do. Um, He's fuming from that queen loss. I have no idea. Yeah, he's, t he's tilted, dude. Yeah, as, I, as I'm dominating this guy. So the theory is, like, how could you even cheat? And one of the theories, which is a joke, but it's actually not that far-fetched, is that he has some kind of device in his butt. It, could, it doesn't have to be in his butt. It could be in his shoe or something, but because they have a really shorthand way of referring to chess moves, like E4, E5. So theoretically, somebody could be sending him the best possible moves via, like, Morse code or something or some other code that they've devised mm -hmm. between themselves that could be telling him the best possible move. So it's actually not that unplausible. And apparently they're saying, oh, we need metal detectors at these. So it's, it's, did homie? Well, I think there is. I think they wanted them and stuff, um, at oh, least. It's my turn. Wait, wait. It is his turn. Bro, you can... He's got to think. All right, I'm going to offer a draw. Wait. <laughs> I'm offering you a draw at this time. How do I offer a draw? I think you did it. Oh, I did? Yeah. Dude, let's take a draw, bro. Let's just... Listen. Did he rage quit? Maybe, maybe they're gone. Hey, hey, listen. You're not going to be able to defeat me. Ironclad defense. I took your queen. Huge dub on you. 
All right. Thank you, man. You know what? I'll resign. You take the dub, buddy. There you go. Congratulations. Oh, oh you, you won. won. Oh, you won. <laughs> oh! Let's go! Queen's Gambit. Watch out. All right. Watch out, Magnus. Now you're going to have to beat the new grandmaster of the office. Who's that? Me. Oh. Are you good at chess? I'm the grandmaster of the office. That's true. What does that mean? Have you guys been playing? He beat me. Well, Ian and Cam played, and Cam won, and then I played Cam, and I beat Cam. So that's it. That's, Are you good that's at the chess? whole tournament. I mean, no. I'm, I'm okay at it. I've, I've played it quite a bit over my life, but I'm not a serious player. Yeah, I don't have that foresight. Apparently, you're supposed to plan like moves in advance. That's not how my brain works, <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's not how my brain works. That's I true. I and I grab. You're, you're more instinctual than I that. I mean, you're undefeated now. You, we all just watched it, you know? Your hey, strategy works, too. If he's Magnus, then I'm Magnum, baby. Oh. Daddy here got a big one. Thank you. Anyway, moving on. A few, so moving on, a few weeks later, Neiman and Carlson had a rematch in an online tournament. And after one move, Carlson quit the game. So he basically uh, got mashed up and he just resigned. He refused to play him. Yep. 2,700 talented kid in the rise couldn't produce. Uh, he got a good position against Magnus. It was a very, very good game. It was probably an inspired game, you could call it. But is it an obvious proof of cheating? Definitely not. I don't think he cheated in the Singfield Cup, but everything else oh, is still sorry, up Alejandro. in the air. Sorry, Alejandro. I just have to interrupt you uh, because the game started. Um, and Magnus has logged off. What has happened? Magnus has resigned. Magnus. So he played a move. Why did he bother even playing a move, I wonder? You know what I mean? Or did he not? I mean, I think it was just an impulse thing. He was probably right. just like, you know what, fuck this. Well, he's right. If he thinks he's cheating, that's the right thing to do. It's like, you know. So that's interesting. Uh, even though he forfeit this game, Carlson went on to win this tournament. What a G. Even after refusing to play Neiman. Damn. Daddy, Daddy Magnus. He's pretty good. And so on Monday, Carlson finally put out a statement, long-awaited, highly anticipated, here he said, my statement regarding the last few weeks. 200,000 likes, so people are paying attention here. Dear Chess World, at the 2022 uh, Sinkfield Cup, I made the unprecedented professional decision to withdraw from the tournament after my round three game against Hans Niemann. A week later, during the Champions Chess Tour, I resigned again against Hans Niemann after playing only one move. I know that my actions have frustrated many in the chess community. I'm frustrated. I want to play chess. I want to continue to play chess at the highest level in the best events. I believe that cheating in chess is a big deal and the existential threat to the game. I also believe that chess organizers and all those who care about the sanctity of the game we love should consider increasing security measures and methods of cheat deduct detection for over the board chess. When Neiman was invited last minute to the 2022 Sinkfield Cup, I strongly consider withdrawing prior to the event. I ultimately chose to play. I believe that Neiman has cheated more and more recently than he has publicly admitted. His over the board progress has been unusual and throughout our game in the uh, Sinkfield Cup, I had the impression that he wasn't tense or even fully concentrating on the game in critical positions while outplaying me as black in a way I I think only a handful of players can do. This game contributed to changing my perspective. So when I first read this, because this is developing from when I first read this, I was like, there's a good chance he's just being a sore loser. It kind of comes across that way. Because it's like, that's I mean, it? Yeah. That his game improved too much and he was playing too good and not paying attention? It like, seems salty when, when yeah. taken at surface level. I agree. And that, my, yeah, so that, that was kind of my impression. I was like, whoa, dude, you might just be being a, kind of a loser here. We must do something about cheating, and for my part going forward, I don't want to play against people that have cheated repeatedly in the past because I don't know what they are capable of doing in the future. There's more I would like to say. Unfortunately, at this time, I'm limited in what I can say without explicit permission from Neiman to speak openly, a.k.a. He's promising not to sue me for defamation, which, of course, right. I do. <laughs> so far, I have only, even if I was innocent, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, go ahead and say whatever you want about me. Uh, yeah, so it's far, a weird statement. <laughs> yeah. 
So far, I've only been able to speak with my actions, and those actions have stated clearly that I'm not willing to play chess with Neiman. I hope that the truth on this matter comes out, whatever it may be. So there it is. Mixed reaction to that, but I think a lot of people were like, dude, you're just being a bad sport. Like you had a lot of here's, support. And here's one of the top comments. Your yeah. whole point is that Neiman's progress expeditiously over the board, and you presume that he cheated. This is preposterous. More than a month, you wait to tell the obvious. We expected more from you, like solid proof on the cheated. So actually, Magnus put his kind of neck, his reputation and neck out, and uh, a lot of people were very, very angry at him. And as this story develops, it gets a lot more interesting, actually. Um, even though yada yada so what's with all the anal bead memes it started off as an offhand comment from the chat but it really exploded uh, so here's the latest update Wall Street Journal, Journal article and this one just came out this is super fucking interesting you guys when was this uh, published? It was like yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Check out this headline. Chess investigation finds that the U.S. Grandmaster likely cheated more than 100 times. Oops. And that's what Magnus said. Yeah. He's like, this guy's been cheating. An internal report reviewed by the Wall Street Journal alleges a previously unknown pattern of likely widespread cheating by Hans Neiman, the player whose September victory over Magnus Carlsen has rocked the chess world. Wow, this is crazy now. Um, what it alleges, it's a 72-page report, so this is pretty serious. I mean, it's, it was practically written by Dream, and his mathematician is so serious. <laughs> it does have echoes of that, doesn't it? Actually, Chess.com released a 72-page report. Yeah, that's who made this. Oh, they're not, that's, Wall Street Journal is just reporting on it. Oh, Chess.com, it, then, then it's real. It's 14 pages! <laughs> mm -hmm. It's even more than that. Meticulous. This 14-page, meticulously argued document. So, I think the people at chess.com analyze his play like they would if it was on, his sis on their system. They use a variety of cheat detection tools, including... Oh, it was on their system. Just to be clear, they're not making any... There is, still is no verdict on the in-person cheating. Mm. This is purely about his play online and that remember in that clip he said i've cheated twice in my life it was both in online tournaments or whatever when i was 12 and when i was 16 and they're saying bitch you've been cheating they cheated a hundred he's a serial cheater he's a serial cheater which was not public until now basically right and you know this dude is fucking caught that's all i gotta say here over the board strength improvement from age 11 to age 19 now this is really interesting here you can see strength improvement. Here's all the best chess players. Yeah, these the are all like grandmasters the, over the years. I mean, this is Bobby Fischer at the top, Magnus here. So you can see they're over the board. It's like fairly, uh, you know, linear. All makes sense. And then here's Hans Niemann's, which out, it, it, it eclipses even the greatest chess players of all time the yeah. by a lot. If he wasn't cheating, they would be, he would be, Potentially one of the best of all time. It seems like by far the best of all time based right. on this. So that's super suspicious. And uh, I would never and could never fathom doing it in a real game, he said. So check this out. Overall, we have found that Hans has likely cheated in more than 100 online chess games, including several prize money events. What a piece of shit. He was already 17 when he likely cheated in some of these matches and games. He was also streaming in 25 of these games. Bro. So they have the date and uh, number of games in the event and number of games likely cheated. All of them. Wow. Or this one's half. That's crazy. So in all the games, they detected he was likely cheating. With prize money on the line? Dude. Bless you. What's crazy about this report, too, is not only did this expose this guy, but they kind of... They kind of say it in passing in the in the article, but apparently there's a number of people in like the top 100 rating on this website that they've caught cheating as well. So 
Why didn't they ban them? I thought they banned Well, they do, but they do it quietly, um, which this has started a whole discussion in the chess community of like, basically, should this be talked about a lot more openly? Because it's going to only become more and more of a problem. We're at the point where computers can like, they, they blow away the best chess players in the world. Like, they will win a hundred out of a hundred times against the best player. They play perfect now. They know that the perfect. Player. Yeah. And so at this point for this to continue to be, you know, a, sp a sport or a game that's played competitively, um, they need to crack down on this shit big time because it, it's very easy to cheat. <coughs> they said, uh, the report was prompted after Carlson's action at the, uh, sink sink field cup prompted them to reassess neiman's behavior uh, carlson didn't talk with ask for or directly influence chess.com's decision at all i think what this really says and they they go on to say that you know chess.com has the best cheat detection in the world dude it just goes to show you that how what a genius this dude is he just fucking knew his ass was cheating just from playing with him and you could just feel it how unlikely his play was, how shit was off. And he could probably tell this stuff intuitively, you know, without crunching the statistics that like his improvement didn't make sense, his play didn't make sense. And uh just seems like this dude actually is a fucking cheater. Isn't that insane? Yeah, again there's there's still no he hasn't been Stay caught it. in person. So there and that was the one it was in person that started all of this. That Magnus played a game with him in person and felt like he was cheating. Um, so there isn't really a verdict on that still. Maybe it was the but anal beads, like as you said. A, as a serial cheater, I'm pretty much 100% on Magnus's uh, side. And maybe it was anal beads. Maybe it was one of those. Some They actually sell those, I think, at like, at their, you can buy those from, like, <laughs> you know, corner shops. Yeah. Vibrating anal beads. If it was me, you know, I'd probably put it in my shoe or something like that. Not, not necessarily the butt. I think the butt. they probably make them take off their shoes. Because they do check. Like, they're aware of the fact that you could... Like, I, I, I remember hearing from one of these commentators, uh, chess commentators, um, that relatively recently they banned watches because they realize, oh, like, you could easily have, like, an Apple Watch vibrating oh, with, like, by a the code way, or whatever. Bella Simmons, thank you for the 50 gifted. Thank, thank you for the gifted. gifted. Thank, thank you for the gifted. gifted. They really to make them take off their shoes? Uh, I don't know. I would assume so, because that's such an obvious thing. And if they're not, then... People are saying they do check their shoes. Yeah, I, I mean, that's... A, yeah. I would have to imagine they... Because if you they care put, about this at all... It, he, by the way, I know how he cheated. I just figured it out. Oh, really? I just fucking figured it out, and I'll show you exactly how he did. <laughs> all right. Sound Wait, hold more. on, hold on. Where could that guy hide a... Piece, a small piece of equipment that vibrates. Hmm. Where was that? What, that isn't up his ass? It's not up his ass. Okay. In his mouth? Not in his mouth. In his hair? His fucking hair, bro. Oh. This guy, yeah. has, <laughs> un, this guy has unreasonably big hair. It's suspicious. It's oh. Suspicious. I, I have big hair too. Yeah, 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 that yeah. Dude sorely needs a haircut, and he's not. His Ooh, hair is so hair. fucking big. He could easily put a little sensor on the top of his dome that vibrates, and nobody would look in his hair. <laughs> That's very interesting. Take it from one big-haired motherfucker to a next. I could hide anything in this. I'll never forget my high school graduation night. Did you guys do grad night where you went to like Disneyland or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, went to Six Flags. A guy that I went to high school, he had big hair just like that. He got pipe and a little dime bag that's what i'm talking about Just stuck it stuck it in the fro it's a little bird nest you could fit a lot in here <laughs> Look how thick that is so that's an interesting you know that's a really interesting theory but certainly the butt if you're really committed you could just put it in your butt honestly. easy done put it up your ass people have put a lot crazier things up their ass than that sure certainly and for thirty thousand dollars you know so if that happened... People have done it for a lot less money, too. Go ahead. And there are metal detectors when they're going in. Because I'm just I'm trying to think through like how I would cheat if that were what... If that was what I was doing. And I think probably if it went off, 
could you just say like, oh, I have a, a like a metal rod in my arm I don't from think like so. surgery? They would need, they would probably need to clear that ahead of time. Really? With medical, med like some sort of evidence. Yeah. If this serial yes. cheater walks out and setting off the metal alarm, <laughs> people are gonna be like, <laughs> hell no, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I yeah. think if he did have a metal hip, he'd have to provide the medical proof for that. Mm. Right. Serious business. There's a million places you could probably hide it re reasonably in your body if you really wanted to, you know what I mean? Butthole and hair, basically, that's it. Yep. Armpit? They're going to check that. They're going to check your armpit? Well, they're going to wand you, you know, with the Jim detector Charles or whatever. Uh, shout out Eric, who ate shrooms at Disneyland for grad night, class of 2015. Let's go. My man. I'm really good. Yes. Well, there it is. Um, so, huge development just yesterday. Chess.com is coming out and saying he's a serial cheater and has cheated on prize money. I think the, uh, the irony I really like about it is it seemed pretty clear from their statement that they were motivated to come out with this by that video that we watched of him ranting and insisting in all right. sincerity. He really fucked himself by doing that. He should have right. just shut up. Well, they said that they were reassessing after Ma Magnus made his first original claim. They went back and started looking at I think the they claim. even, but I think they specifically said after his statements Wrong. at the uh, recent Sinkfield Cup or whatever. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, to say, like, I've only been cheated twice on Chess.com and they have, like, 72 pages on your ass. <laughs> right. By the way, this is super interesting. Here he is walking through a security at the U.S. Chess Championship. Let's see what this is like. Wait, this is from four hours ago. We were forfeited. Here, we're a little bit more five minutes, ten minutes. He, he looks nervous. He looks nervous. <laughs> yeah. That dude looked nervous. He looks like he's got something up his ass. <laughs> oh, he's like super tense, man. He looks like when you Boy, give this. Look, look how he's standing. <laughs> Yo, he does. <laughs> dude, he's got it up his eyes. <laughs> oh, that man. It's like he's when the cat's looking at your fake ID. Yes. Oh, because this guy's doing a metal detector, so let's see what areas he avoids. Let's see if he goes over his head. That's very thorough. Very or thorough. if he touches the butthole. He's puckered oh, up, man. He's ready to go. He's puckered up. Look at him, dude. He's flexing. You're so right, Zach. And that is an interesting skill. He looks super uncomfy. Yeah, he can't breathe. Well, he knows he's on he's camera. He's taken one breath in, and he's holding it if, this if, whole time. If he coughs, it's game over. Yeah. You, know, you know what's suspicious to me is that he yawned. Every time I've seen someone trying to, yeah. you know, pass off like they're not nervous, I always see a fake yawn. Actually, yawning is a symptom of anxiety. It's kind of crazy. I, when I had a ton of anxiety, mm -hmm. I could not stop yawning. Yeah. It's crazy. I so didn't know that. It, it actually is a is a, a <laughs> real. A, I feel really bad thing. then because yeah. I used I used to make fun of my cousin so much. Every time we were around a girl, he go. <sighs> I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why do you always <laughs> do that? So now knowing that it, it's anxiety and dude. Rip. Yeah. Yeah, you're a dick, bro. No, it's okay. It's cousin Tim. <laughs> oh, it's uh, Tim? Yeah. 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 Okay. Miss him. <laughs> yeah, rip. Yeah, but like to avoid the metal detector, you probably have to put it in there pretty deep. Dude, he's fucking erect. You think he's chubbed up? No. No, like it's his, like the way he's standing. The way he's standing. He's looking like a fucking <laughs> pencil, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So let's see. Yeah, let's I see how. Ask him about it. It looks like it's this is super serious, of, actually, yeah, what they're doing. Settings. More than I yes, thought I it would be. All right, so he does the face. But what is, was interesting he that didn't do the top of the head. During the technical meeting, that no matter what, the time will start. Yes, so the Dude, he's nervous. I'm going to mute it. Dude, he looks super nervous. Checking the jacket. Yeah, he did not <gasps> check the top of his head. It's in his fucking hair. Oh, he, he scanned his ass. He scanned the ass. He, yeah, he scanned his butthole. Get it did, in there. Did he? No. Oh. I mean, he passed by it. Okay, he did not check. <gasps> look, at look, at look at his face. Go back. He's like, yo, <laughs> he's like, I, I made it. For real. It's in his hair. I'm like almost certain of it. That's the only place you didn't scan. Mm. And I bet you they reviewed a bunch of footage of how they scan and decided where's the best place to hide it. That'd be pretty fucking bold for him to try and do it when he's under such a microscope right now. Wait, this just happened? It said four hours ago this clip came from. The clip was made four hours ago. In oh, okay. Fair yeah. enough. Well, what, what's the Good. event? You can look up if it's happening right now. Yeah, it could, it could US be US Chess Open, is that what it said? Yeah. US Chess, chess Championship. championship. 
This is such a great clip that this exists. It's so good. All the faces he makes after he walks past. Yeah, it's live right now. So good. It's live right now. So that's I'm pretty sure this clip so is Dan, from today. That should tell you. <gasps> Someone should check his hair now. Go check that man's hair. If somebody is watching at the event. Look, the Go pat that dome. Yeah, pat that dome. The chances. Be like, what's up, pal? Mm hmm. No Noogie. Yeah. <laughs> The chances that he's cheating now <laughs> are probably pretty low. But even with all these crazy accusations, the guy checking still didn't check his hair. But he can't just start losing now. That'll look even worse. Well, I think he's a good chess player, but just not But is that he a, hun a hundo percent good without the no. computer? I hope he loses a bunch. Wow, can we watch him play somewhere on Twitch right now? Someone uh, go check that man's hair. I'm dead serious. I'm watching the event. It looks like he's not playing right now. He's yeah. well, probably watching us and going to the bathroom and dumping his <laughs> tracker. Yo, yeah, he's got to shave his head if he wants to play in further <laughs> tournaments. Get him on Jeff's barbershop, too. Yeah. yeah. Just buzz him. Someone said, by the way, he won today. Not anymore. I Did he? Interesting. Well, hold on. Maybe I can rewind the VOD a little bit and find his game. It's not letting me rewind. Uh, I found a YouTube version. Ooh. Pass it. W. Dan. Oh, let's analyze his oh. Wait, Wait here is, wait um... Too. Hold on. Here's a clip from, from earlier today. Turns out, maybe it wasn't... Oh, no. What are we gonna do about the cheating? Potentially, uh, they were right. And Howie is there. Ow. Ow. So, ow. To talk about it. Do not want to get canceled. Are you passing me the clip, Dan? Or uh, well, I'm just scrubbing through it. It's a long live stream, okay. so I'm just. Yeah, it's a, we don't have to watch it. I'm sure it's boring. I'm fine, people. So there you go. It seems like the the tide is turning. Oh no, here he is. <gasps> He's rubbing his head. <gasps> Bro, let me see. I that found shit. the money shot. He went. Let's see. Oh, <gasps> he's twirling his hair. He's twirling the I hair. Tell. That's a tell. Yo! That's for sure. How shitty would it be to be this guy? Like, you just, like, just yesterday, the report came out that this dude is a serial cheater, and here you are sitting down in a tournament across from him. He probably took an easy L. He was probably like, you know what? He cheated. It's fine. He should resign. That'd be the gangster move. Yeah, just refuse. Well, there you go. Super interesting uh, story, and I I think I'm I'm going cheater. Oh, Nuggie, aka our Saudi prince. Give him a Nuggie. Give him a Nuggie. Fifty gifted subs. Thank there you for the go. gifted. We Thank love a Nuggie. And the gifted subs now means you get a extra podcast every week on Thursday. Only for members. Thank you so much. Thank you for the gifted. Hello. Hello. So um. I, there's a what are we giving this one? This one's pretty good. I mean, there's no obviously conclusive evidence, but all of the circumstantial evidence is saying this guy cheats. I'm going to see. Really? So many ins and outs compared to Adam Levine just being thirsty on Instagram. I can't believe you hate on this Adam Levine one. I feel like this is criminally underrated to be. Fuck. Uh, my, my just opinion. being a thirsty weirdo. It's way more than that. Tried to. I will never get over naming your fucking kid after your mistress and asking their permission. I'm not. I'm not processing that. It's just so bizarre. <laughs> I don't think you are. That's right. You're not processing it because that. Is that for sure. Real? No, it's for sure. That's for sure real. And her name is Sumner, not Summer. Sumner. It's, like, it's a weird like name. Like a Sumner, like a like a D and D. Not no, not Sumner either. Sum Sumner. Some nerve. Some nerve. Some nerve. Yeah. And and has he made a comment about this? He posted his apology, which is very similar, actually, ironically, to Ned's, where it's like, I lost focus. Like I love my family. Also, Did we ever watch uh, Ned's apology. Maroon Five it was just is a statement. Doing a residency in Vegas. After all this, they announced they're doing a residency in Vegas. Fuck. <laughs> Crazy. What? But but he's going to Sin City, baby. <laughs> Stay loyal to his wife. I mean, it's good promo for it, I guess, in a way. So, so yeah, if you like shitty music, so now you know he's a shitty artist. <laughs> so I don't know, so. Did Adam comment on the baby naming thing? No, because that's no. I think you blow past that. 
All right, so what are we thinking here? I'm liking this one. It's pretty interesting. I'm thinking it's a B, personally. I think that's fair. Like, it's not as juicy as Try Guy stuff. So what do you guys think? Yeah, I'm seeing lots of Bs. Some people are saying A. I mean, it's very good. It's very good. You could write no, a- I mean, you D. could literally make a movie about this, ultimately. If Ian's going D, then I'm going D, too. I, I trust Ian's D? Why, why so low? I'm pretty sure that was the sound bite. Just whatever. Zach picks for me every time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go D. I think let's go- Wow, let's do- Wow, there's a lot. We might need to go to the poll on this one. Let's do S, A, and B. Between those three? Yeah. It's not S. Chess cheating scandal is a S, A, or B. Ask. I'm seeing lots of A's, and I'm, I'm thinking it's an A. You think it's better than Adam Levine, though? It is. It's way more interesting. He's just a horny little fucking freak. <laughs> it's like, you know, how many of those people have you met in your life? They're dime a dozen. Now, guys who put chips up their ass and cheat at chess, now that's interesting. Mm. Rachel said, I'd rather see Zach Lewis live at the Troubadour on January 13th than <laughs> Let's Maroon 5. Let's go! In Zach Lewis live at the Troubadour January 13th. Thank you very much. And are we going to be having devices up the ass during that event or yes? <laughs> That's oh. the only way you can get Always. in. Always. Yeah. That's the ticket. Yeah. So it looks like uh, it's like A's winning. Yeah, A. And I, I'm, I'm going to put it there at the A as well. It is right up there with the dream cheating scandal. It's like pretty close with just how ridiculous it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, here, Zach, um, Sam just went down to Hollywood and got another picture for you. Let's okay. fucking go! Zach Lewis, <laughs> live at the Troubadour. Appreciate that. January 16th. 13th. Oh, it says 16th, fuck. Oops, Oop, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh. <laughs> That's not helping. Whoa! That's alright, I'll sabotage, Appreciate it, Cam, though. It's very sweet. Um, so, okay, cool. There's more cheating uh, controversies. <sighs> We've got the Nadia one. Yeah, see. we're, um... We're running low on time. We're running low on time, so... The poker one. I, the I will, I will one. Shit. fucking lose my shit if we don't watch the fish video. Ethan, are you going to a break fast tonight? I haven't, no, I'm, yeah, I'm bre I've been breaking fast every... <laughs> I, I break fast every morning. No, I'm not, I'm not doing the fasting or anything. Are you? I mean, I'm not fasting, but, you know, doing a, a break fast. Think about ordering some Mexican food. There you go. Mm. I was in Hawaii for, like, three days. I have had not me had Mexican food. Uh, Actually, that's not true. I did have nachos there. <laughs> 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 that was yesterday. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yesterday. I had Mexican. <laughs> also, I had fish tacos the day before that. Okay. Mm. Well, how was the food there? Was it good? The fish was great. Yeah, yeah, mahi mahi. It was all yeah. So good. It was super super good, man. The fish was great. Yeah, we just ate a lot of fish. Mhm. Mm we got wings and fish. One thing I did not love, <laughs> we had a, our hotel, found rat shit on the couch. Okay. And then the night, our last night there, I f there was a fucking cockroach in the bathroom. Hawaii, am I you're right? in the you're in you're in the wilds, man. It's not wild. It was a really expensive resort. Okay. <laughs> Did you see lizards? Yeah, lots of lizards. Love that. Lizards. Part of the experience. Did you get yelled at for riding a skateboard? No skateboarding. L. Laugh it up. Real funny. Are you encouraging him? Real funny, huh? Let's laugh. Ha ha ha, make a big joke of it. You know what? He sounds like Tom Hanks or something. Play that again. Don't ruin Tom Hanks Real for me. Funny, huh? Let's laugh it up. Wow, no, I hear it. Sounds like Jeff Bridges, bro. Or he the sounds big like mm -hmm. Routers. Like, Tom Hanks. Hanks. Or wait, who does he he sounds just like somebody? I heard the Tom Hanks. Play it Real again. Funny, huh? Let's laugh it up. No, that it sounds like the dude. You're that right. Sounds just yeah. like yeah. the big look. Yeah, I hear the Jeff Bridges too. Walter Man. Play it again. That's Jeff Bridges. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know you guys all hear it. Dude, side note, they have not responded to me yet. Uh, I'm going to San Diego this weekend, I swear to god. I'm about to just go to the front desk. 
go full Karen. They never got back to you about it? They There was in like a support email that said, uh, send us more information and we'll get back to you. How much and more information do you need? I don't okay, know. well, whatever. You yeah. tried your best. I mean, when he kills someone, it's not your fault. Oh, I, I'm not walking away. I mean, but yeah, we'll see. Oh, you're not backing down? Oh, hell no, no. Fuck that. You're like Tom Petty, baby. You not backing down. Maybe, would you go down to the garage and look for him? I mean, leave the girls at home. Yeah, I mean, last, you know, last resort, I'm pulling Gideon and, like, getting a bunch of people with boosted boards, and we're all going to ride out that bitch. Mmm. Like, rough riders. He probably wouldn't even be there. He's not. He's a fucking janitor, not security. <laughs> we'll find him. That would be pretty good, though. Yeah. Lots of boosted boards. He, I think he'd die on the spot. I think he might just explode. That scene in Scanners, that movie. <clears throat> All right, so let's do the fish one. Dan is going to die if we don't do the fish lose one. Fucking shit. He's going to shit his we fucking. Got weights and fish. But I'm not actually. I see the podcast one. I see poker. It's up oh. at the top. Call of Duty, chess, dream, fishing tournament busted. Okay, let's do this one. So again, this one is awesome because there's a video. The video seals the deal. I'm surprised so many people are out here as comfortable cheating. Like, it's so scummy as an adult to go into a fair play situation, especially with money on the line, and just to cheat, cheat your fellow competitors. I mean, it's so embarrassing. How do you live with yourself knowing that you're a fucking cheater? Right? I mean, it's so embarrassing, dude. And the pretty way embarrassing. That, this guy gets pretty fucking embarrassed in this video. That's what I was gonna say. The way that he gets confronted in this is just spectacular. <laughs> He's just so humiliated, as he deserves. Yeah. Uh, some context here: the would-be winner of a twenty-nine thousand dollar Ohio fishing tournament were disqualified after they discovered they were f stuffing weights and what was super weird, fish fillets. I don't understand that inside part. of a fish. It seems like the weights are, are enough. Yeah, why, why put a fish fillet in the fish? What are, what are we supposed to do? think about that? No idea. They'd be like, it's just a flish, fish fillet. It was obviously like cut, perfectly cut from another fish. <laughs> There's a fish fillet in my fish. Um, we got weights in fish! The director of the tournament told CNN he was immediately suspicious when one of the team's fish weighed almost twice what he expected they would. <laughs> oh Dumb cheaters too, apparently. The walleye in the bucket looked like they should weigh about four pounds, and the total indicated they would have been at least seven pounds. I thought there's just no way, he said. I could hear the crowd grumbling like, no way, there's no way. I physically felt the fish, and I could feel hard objects <laughs> inside the fish. But uh, what it seems so dumb, but apparently I read these guys have been doing this. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to find a total of how much they've won, and I couldn't find anywhere. But yeah, they've won quite a few. Actually, I think they the police. There's some actual criminal investigation happening now, probably because of the money they got committing fraud. Yeah. And so these guys could actually go to jail for fucking faking a fish bullshit. The moment when f this guy's name's Fisher. Yep. <laughs> He was destined for this My shit. man. <laughs> the moment when Fisher discovered the alleged cheating was documented in several now viral videos. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Jacob, one of the members of the two-person team who allegedly cheated. I don't mean allegedly. We really need to add that. Stood by silently watching as Fisher dunked on his ass. And he screams, we got weights and fish, boys. We got weights and fish! Zach, you got- the, at the end, there's a little sliver. I- I know, I tried to cut it as clean as possible, <laughs> but it's a lot of overlaying. Like, the scream happens right when he tries play, to finish play, the bit. Play it again? <laughs> yeah, you gotta cut it, though. I think you gotta err on the side of cutting the sliver out. Okay. It's just my take. No, oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know, we gotta get criticism. the slivers out of there. Just saying. Just saying. I, I, it's like an old school rumble what goes down here, man. Uh, they were set to win 29000 Fisher said he knew Ryan, and Ka his other guy's name is Kaminsky. Yep. They had won several tournaments previously, so here it is, guys. We got weights and fish. Yeah. <laughs>
This is a potential replacement for you need to leave. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Everybody hates. Oh, the follow up. The follow up after. Uh, we got whites and fish. There we go. <laughs> it's so powerful. I understand it, man. These guys got totally scammed. I was I was reading about this. Apparently, it's super expensive. These guys put a lot of time and money and effort to come down and compete in this. And oh, sure, yeah. It's just so fucked up. It took her jab. Yeah. It sounds like the angry crowd in a South Park it episode. Totally, it yeah. really does. It's, and also, yeah. the prize money comes from the entry money to join the contest. Oh, so he's stealing. He's yeah. just straight stealing yeah. it from them. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is, we're gonna have ourselves a good old-fashioned witch burning. You know what I mean? It's like a mob outside, like Dracula's house or some shit. We gonna burn this witch. Oh man! <laughs> I haven't seen a mob like that since Salem. We got weights and shit. You want all these fucking the last time this many rednecks got angry, they tried to fucking kill our representative. So at least it, it's just about fishing. There's a worthy that. target this time. Yeah. We got weights and fish. <laughs> at least it's about just fishing this time and not trying to kill the vice president. Man, oh man. So let me try and fight because. The- I mean, kind of surprised that nobody got violent and pleasantly surprised that everyone kept it in check. Right. They were so angry. That one moment, the first guy who figures it out, I'm surprised he let his ass cut that fish open. He must have been shitting. And shout out to the cameraman, man. You made all the difference. It's so funny how the sound bites of this show kind of are like our own language. I've been saying we got weights and fish all week, and people are probably looking at me at Target like I'm crazy. We got, we weight- got weights and fish. Oh, that sounds clean, Zach. There we go. We got it. We got weights and fish. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Yeah. So there's another vid where uh, where it shows it more up close. Apparently, there's a bunch of videos. I guess all these guys were recording as yeah, it went. Yeah, it seems like it was going down. You see lots of people up on the side. So this is the third video that I had in the dock. The first two got claimed. Oh. This is the first guy that didn't claim me. Some, so. some like viral hog shit is uh, yeah. Inside out edition. there. Wait, they claimed this? Not this one, but the... the well, I won't play videos. it, but just to show, these these objects right here are oh the Oh, my uh, God. Weights. Look at the amount of weights he took. Yeah, out of exactly. Dude... You guys are shameless, man. We got weights and fit! We sure do, buddy. Here. <laughs> we got weights and fit! There we go! <laughs> it's so legendary! There we go! Dick a jib! God damn. We gotta hang the president, boys! <laughs> Get those nooses out here! Wow. Wow, man. So that's pretty that's pretty good. Is where's the video where he starts busting out fillets? That that part That was the one that got claimed. Yeah. Well, can you just pull up like some screenshots cuz it's just so odd that they shoved yeah, fillets uh, uh weights in fish. Fillets. Like what? They could have put anything, but they put fillets of fish. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. But it doesn't look natural. It's just a fillet of fish. It's very odd. Very, very odd. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what advantage that serves over a uh, just a weight. No, a fishing tournament. Forgive my ignorance uh, to all the fishers. Isn't that just kind of like a game of luck, more or less? There with the weight. Uh. 
Well, there's a lot of skill to fishing, um, but yeah, as far yeah, I think it's a combination of both. All right, it's luck and skill. Uh, one third Sam, thank you, thank you for the gifted, 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 ten gifted. We love. Wait, what is two hundred thousand IDR? It's um, thank you for Indonesian. The we got two hundred thousand uh, of something. some current Indonesian uh, rup rupiah. That is uh, thirteen dollars. Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> Never got to watch you all live because of the time zone difference in Indonesia. Peace and love to the best podcast in the world. My man. Let's go. Red <laughs> makes... <laughs> One third Sam is always in your uh, TikTok lives donating roses to the tater tots. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, thank you. Love that for you. Thank you, queen. Here, here was the post that I saw originally on I just uh, say, Public Freakout. I do want to say that's the first time I've ever got $200,000 or 200000 unit. That's pretty fire. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> Alright, so make it small. Yeah. Just because this is the guy right here. Looking very sad. Go ahead. Just trying to find the part where That's the guy that cheated? Yeah. Oh, That's you're why fucked, he's... bro. You are so fucked. He's got John Wayne on his sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no cowboy. <laughs> we got Wayne and Fish. I'm just trying to find the part where he pulls out the filet. We got weights and fish! We got weights and fish! Oh, another five gifted from uh, One Third Sam. Thank you, Queenie. Thank you for the it. Thank you for the it. Is that Ninja? Yeah. Whoa, what caused that? <laughs> Wait, no audio? Well, I'm trying to avoid us getting a claim, so I'm just... Eh, it's okay. The, I think it's the video, because... Go back to when he first no, got it. Here. This is where the flesh is. This is look at, uh, what? It's a filet of fish, man. Why? It's so <laughs> odd. It's got tartar sauce on it, man. Maybe to mask it, like it, to just yeah. put on top of the weights. Right. So when, if you're feeling it, you won't feel the ball of. Yeah, the I guess maybe that was the just logic. With, like thicker skin. I mean, obviously it didn't work. It's but. not very big. It's like the balls were huge compared to the filet of fish. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, there it is, an uh, interesting fishing uh, scandal. Let's check the board. <laughs> so, uh, the fish cheaters. Now, the video obviously makes this whole story. You've got weights and fish. <laughs> Not quite sure what else, how else to describe that. We have weights and fish. Mm -hmm. We've got weights and fish! All right. That much I know. If you re-examine this controversy, there are, and it's and it's credit to his credit, weights in fish. No doubt. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. So I'm wondering where that weighs out. I'm thinking, to be totally honest with you guys, S plus. I know Dan loves this one. Up above the S tier, right? But it's here. it's mm -hmm. just it's just weights and fish. There's no story. There's no gossip. Yeah. One dude. And some weights and a fish. I, I think it's probably the best media to come out of this, vid like video-wise. People are saying S? It's not. It's just a weight and a fish. But as far as, con if that's what we're going off controversy, I I'd give it an A, but for video, I'd agree with Dan S+. Plus. It's A or S for me. I really? would like an A. I'm feeling like really a good. B. Yeah, I think B too. Hater, dude. Hate. I was, I was going to say C, to be totally honest. What? It's just weights and fish, bro. Yeah, but it gave such a good sound bite out of it. It's know. just weights and fish. That's it. We got weights and fish. If you if you have we a pros if you have a pros and cons list for this, <laughs> pro is weights and fish, and that's it. It's a it's a major pro. Oh, why didn't Ninja freak out? Because of um, some clip here. Let me see this. Reunited after all the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, he was God. hyped. He was he was a little giddy. He was on like a sugar high because he like, seeing his old buddy Doc. I like the Doc too, man. That's that's not what I imagined when I heard the soundbite. I thought he was just getting a bunch of gifts at once, and he was like eating them up with Pac Man. Dude, this posted up, but, or Ian sent it to me, and it was on our, our Twitter feed, and it's just like this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Oh, he posted life. this. Okay, let me yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> that felt good. That felt I'm really come. good. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. We got Ninja saying I gotta come. <laughs> Nobody ever been that excited to see me, so I'm kind of jealous. Yeah. But I like it. All right, we're gonna have to throw a poll to this because this shit's all over the place. Well, I got a little pros and cons list started. Okay, pros, weights, and fish. Cons. <laughs> What's the downside? Well, lays in fish. The downside, the downside is there's no like gossip. There's no backstory. It's just one man. There's backstory. They he they they stole a bunch of money doing this. Yeah, there's no lore. There's no lore. There's, there's no law exactly. There's scandals. I'm sure a lot of people put a lot of time into this, and they've practiced all year. They've been going for years and being shown up by these guys. It's like a movie. That yeah. might be true, but there's no fucking text. Yeah, messages, there's nothing bro. I can sink my teeth. Yeah, but into. there is. You know what I mean? Wait, it's a fish. video with a man waiting fish. That's all you get. And that rocks. It's, it's just it's no it's no Ned and Ariel. I'm sorry. Not even close. Not, not even, it's not, not even, even touch. I, I'm going off the soundbite potential, and I'm going to retract my A and move it up. <laughs> you adding the con? Yeah. Come on. I'm, I'm just, you know, it's so versatile. You can't just rate it on scandal worthiness because of a good soundbite. But, dude, admit, think, but th think this is going to come into play on so much shit. Like, it's it's just mwah. But this, I don't think the soundbite value should even be considered in the rating. I'll admit, if there's text messages like, fuck there's weights and fish, it would make it a little bit better, but I don't know. I think the soundbite should be considered. I might have to see that weight in the I might have to see <laughs> the weights in that fish. <laughs> I would do an in-between S and A if, like, we have to. I th you know, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I think it's a C. <laughs> Dude, There's why? just not enough Whoa. floor. It's so dry. <laughs> it's it's just a funny video. taking you to court right now, it's man. Not. No, I'm just trying to transcribe all of the pros and cons here. If you compare it to these other scandals, it's not even <laughs> on the same <laughs> level. With the, 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 chest, with the chest, kissy noise. With the, the chest, we don't even know beyond the shadow of a doubt that he's cheating, too, you know? Like, with this, we have a smoking gun. We got weight and fish. We got weights and fish. With That's the, true. With the chest, we don't even know. That's true. There's he could a be a super genius. That's true. Good that, point, Cameron. That's a good point. We got weights and fish. We got weights and fish, Cameron. Um, um, Kyle said the people in this tournament are going to talk about this for the rest of their life. That is true. Well, so is Adam Levine's fucking little booty girl. Oh, also, that's funny, but the guy who ran the tournament's last name is Fishy. Or Shut up. Fish. Oh, Fisher. Fish. Fisher, yeah. Oh, Fisher. Well, I thought there was another one. <laughs> I thought there was Fisher Fishy. and then Fishy. <laughs> they're the cousins. <laughs> we got yeah, for real. Ugh, I don't know, man. I'm just being honest with you guys. It's a weight and fish, and we love that, but it's just not enough. I think it's a B or an A. So let's throw it to the poll. I see the answers in the chat are all over the place. So I think you gotta do... S through C. We can need the whole... The whole spectrum here. Dan transcribed the kiss noise. <laughs> we got fish. We got weight and fish. Mm -hmm. Weights and fish. It's like a movie. It rocks. Sound by potential. It's... There's a smoking gun. We got weights and fish again. The guy who ran the tourney's last name is Fisher. Those are the pros. Cons, it's not fishy. Right. It's just not. It's just one moment. I need a whole fucking story. Sometimes I need years. one moment's yeah. all it takes. It's like a story arc. One yeah. moment is well, can only be as good as it will, can be. I will submit that these guys have won in the past too, so there's a backstory in that. That's what too. I was. Yes. You know. Where's the well, where's the lore? Where's the Show story? Me the that been, Show me the videos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't I can't speak to that much, but that's in the prequel of the movie. It is still mm -hmm. developing because they're being investigated by the police, which is pretty funny. Show me the footage of the man and the fish before all the cheating scandals came out. Let me Sh let me see their dynamic. Yeah. Show me the booty. Yeah, they, for real. Dude's gonna be in prison. What are you in for? Weights and fish. I got locked up for weights and fish. Did TMZ cover this? Fish. We don't look kindly on fishing cheaters here in prison. All right. I'm throwing up the poll. Here we go. All right, guys. Stand everybody by. get your <laughs> vote in. This is important. I'm voting C. I just don't think one moment of weights and fish. I mean, what? Dan, put the pros and cons down. You really have to compare it uh, to the other things on the list. I want to show the, the, like, Ned, 
fucking the chess one. Dream hired a mathematician to try to prove he wasn't cheating when he knew he was cheating. This is insane shit. Mm -hmm. This is just some dude who's like, I'm gonna put a weight in a fish. It's not even a complicated plan. It was a fairly bad one at that. Yeah, so, you know, like, it was captured, which we love. But I don't know, guys. I got bad news for you, Ethan. Yeah, it is bad news. The audience does not agree. Ugh. Not at all. We got and this is an S tier. That surprised me, guys. That surprised me. Someone in the chat said, see, the fish died for no reason. Mm. <laughs> How does that feel, vegetarian? Yeah, not mm. great. Not great. Yeah. I mean, that does make it more juicy, I guess. I'd like, a, yeah, the, this, I'd this like to know where there's murder involved. Yeah, <laughs> there's literal murder. Yeah, fish in this murder. Story. But murder nonetheless. Um, well, I mean, do you, are you going to give in to the will of the people or are you yeah. going to veto? No, they say S. It's just kind of shocking to me, but there it is. There it is. Y'all are tripping balls if you think this is on the same level as Ned. You got fish and S! <laughs> fish and S? An S. Oh. Mm. We got. His ass. We got receiver and ass. His ass. He put it in the only place. You know where the people are saying bad pull. Get the fuck out of here. That's a great pull. It's a great so, pull. The results are bad. The pull is good. Insane. Well, Insane. it's already getting pretty late. I'm. I need. Yeah, we've been going for three hours. But so, why don't uh, we? Why don't we pick this up on Friday? Sure. We can continue because we still have basically. I'd be interested to hear Eula's perspective on the fish voting. As we, well. We still have the, the... I feel like she'll back us up. The Call of Duty one, mm -hmm. and the poker one, actually. Oh, and the podcast buying views. So Duty. It's actually three still major stories. And who knows? Somebody may cheat again by Friday. And I yeah. might have a scandal by Friday. <laughs> Zach, uh, just be good for the next week, man. <laughs> okay. Should I save this for future use? Like, should I... It's been done. Do you want me to email this to you? Add it no, to the court docs. No. You sure? Can you make it a PDF? Lena, I'm going to email it to you. Just so Ethan has it. Just saying. I don't need it. Okay. It's already yeah, sent. Yeah, 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 I don't need that. Yeah, no. It's already. It's in your inbox. No, I'm not going to review that. It's not. I appreciate you being humble, but you got it. Yeah, I'm not going to open that email. I'm not even going to click it. All righty. <laughs> well, guys, that was fun. It was really fun. That was very fun. <laughs> it's Wednesday. <laughs> so tomorrow, you guys know what it is. It's Leftovers Day. We'll be here bright and early tomorrow yes, morning. Yes, 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 yes. 10 a.m. Talk about some politics. I'm sure we have a lot of juice stored up there. For oh, you. my goodness. Well, I mean, there was a lot of juice stored up, but then this week has been pretty fucking eventful, so I don't even know. We got... What do we have? It what, is this whole thing with Herschel Walker. Penis. Oh, because we didn't even have a regular episode last week. We haven't really had a regular episode in yeah. two weeks. Yeah, so there's got to be a lot. It's wait, not somebody very said. Wait, hold on. Somebody just donated. JCM said Cav just bought fifty thousand likes on Instagram. Does he have a post with fifty thousand likes? <laughs> uh, well, we'll check. We, we're well aware of his uh, habits. Um, we have many times we seen. We have seventy-two pages of analysis. <laughs> We've, uh, I'm sure people are familiar with when, you know, big accounts, like some big influencer or whatever, posts something and says, like, it's a contest, and to enter to win, all you have to do is follow these accounts. Um, mysteriously, uh, Ryan Kavanaugh's Instagram account shows up in a lot of those. Oh, my some God. Reason, so. Look at this picture Britney Spears just posted. You can't put it on the screen. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. What? <laughs> She's so wild. She is so funny. It's just, she, I mean, she is fully nude, and there's just a tiny heart covering her <laughs> vagina. She is so On Instagram? Yes. Yeah, just, it's at the top of my page on Instagram. First thing I see when I opened it. Okay, Britt. Get, get a look at that and just give me your snap judgment on that, because it's shocking, man. That is fairly shocking. <laughs> Looks you see like, it? Yeah. Um, we got weights and fish. We got weights and fish. <laughs> Why did she, she changed her name on her Instagram page to Channel 8. Oh, she's really? doing a little 
<laughs> avant-garde <laughs> field reporting <laughs> in the yeah. tradition of Andrew Callahan. Channel huh. 8. Um, by the way, are you able to see Cav Cavs? He blocked me, so I'm not able to... Uh, he has uh, yeah. so many likes. Uh, yeah, so I'm not shit. seeing the specific post. The last, like, six have exactly around 35k. That's awesome. Yeah, but... Yeah. What are the comments? Uh, the comments... Let me see, I'll take another look. Best of the best. Best of the best. Top of Fire. the top. Let's see. <laughs> keep it up. Keep uh, it up, bro. <laughs> keep it up! What was the post on that they're saying, keep it up? I bet it uh, means... So excited to share the first teaser for the new movie. Keep it up. Skill House movie. <laughs> Keep, Keep it up. It up. Keep Thank it up. Uh, check DM. Fire emoji. Check fire DM. emoji. Fire emoji. Here before this hits millions of views. You know, that's a very common one I always see. Hmm. A lot of people always Why say that. that dumb. First hand experience. This is what I was waiting on with a trophy emoji. Uh, <laughs> what we've been waiting for, fire emoji. Definitely. Uh, you always deliver an outstanding work. You always deliver a outstanding work. Keep them coming. Yeah. There's no way. This is one of the best things I've seen. It's so weird how these are all so general. It's so yeah. wild. Uh, got mm. this on repeat. Always killing it. You got Five what eight, on repeat? You got the, t the teaser trailer for the <laughs> Skill House movie. Uh, I've just been looping for the last 10 hours. Thoughts. Actually, that's probably true because that same bot farmer is probably uh, juicing the views on that, too. Yeah. So. Actually, uh, I, I Go ahead, Abby. Allegedly. In this Minecraft, is, by the way. Absolute gorgeous. This is an absolute gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, Ryan Kavanaugh is putting together a new production company that I'm sure more than any of his other businesses is going to bankrupt and be a total financial ruin. Yeah. Um, Too much wine, sorry. I was looking it's for called the Quad. Yeah, I was looking forward to telling you guys about it, but we'll probably have to wait till Friday. But uh, yeah, he's called it the Quad. Quad is supposed to s release three to five. Uh, Genre films per year with a budget ranging from three to twelve million. Focuses horror, thriller, American comedy, and love story. The Quad is currently in post-production of Skill House. Influencers, so it's all movies surrounding influencers, which, if you've been in the influence space, you know, famously always do extremely well. Extremely Influ well. Influencer movies are pretty much a surefire way to make. Well, they also have Fifty Cent involved. They got Fifty. He's like, he's in this movie. So here, check it out. The influencers, they have signed Charlie D'Amelio, Bryce Hall, and King Bach. King ba Batch. Oh, Batch. Um, and the Charlie D'Amelio movie that they're doing, it's produced, co-produced by Mother D'Amelio, Father D'Amelio, Sister D'Amelio. <sighs> and that then it's starring other sisters. So D'Amelio. much money. Even her fans are not going to want to see that. The movie Charlie is set to star and is called Homeschool. It is a thriller that is being co-produced by both D'Amelio parents and also Dixie. Oh, wow. The best in the biz, eh? Best of the best. Only the top experienced people on that one. Another comment? This is looking really sharp. Your work looks very in high quality. <laughs> I did not read that wrong. Your work looks very in high quality. Matt Mayberry uh, donated again. Uh, Twenty dollars, thank you, Matt. But wait, Dan, is there a chance? I think you owe him an answer. <laughs> you put the camera on me. Ian. Ian. Go ahead. He still hasn't done it. There we go. <laughs> no. No chance. Well, you heard it here, buddy. No chance. Come on, Dan. Let's get you on that tier list. Wait, what is this? Uh, no. Philip DeFranco interviewed Logan Paul, who accused Bad Bunny of exploiting Puerto Rico. What the fuck was that sentence that you just yeah, said? Yeah, that, that came out during the show. <laughs> was that a Ryan Kavanaugh comment? Philip <laughs> <laughs> Puerto. Apparently, Philly D interviewed Logan Paul, who accused Bad Bunny of exploiting Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Okay, so I do know that Philly D, because I'm a huge fan, did uh, interview Logan Paul. I have not watched it yet. Yeah, it's How, a, it's something about like Logan condemns tax something in Puerto Rico and Bad Bunny he says is exploiting it. Isn't that what he's doing? Well, oh that's God. that's the thing. Is, we'll see. Isn't that why he's there? That's what we thought. Yeah. We love Puerto what? Rico. What? I gotta see that clip, man. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Dude, you can't just go out and talk shit on Bad Bunny. People will die for that guy. I cannot. In my head, I keep replaying. This is an absolute gorgeous. This is an absolute gorgeous. This is an absolute gorgeous. gorgeous. The is best that? comment. That was one of Cap Cav's uh, comments. Yeah. 
This is an absolute gorgeous. So, by the way, AB, put a, put a tab in that. I want to see what uh, Logan said about Bad Bunny. Okay. Um, there it is, guys. Fun, fun show. Check out. Bad Bunny is Puerto Rican, by the way. He is a native of Puerto Rico. He's from Puerto Rico. What? You're the... actually just a fucking colonizer that moved there, so you don't have to pay 10% state tax. <laughs> or maybe federal, too. I don't know. Puerto Rico. Just landed in L.A. Oh, shit. I got to see this. Okay, let's watch it now. I landed in L.A. after a 32-hour flight from Berlin. So funny to be in the same city as y'all. Love you. 32 hours? How many layers do you have? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, welcome. Hope you have a good time. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm sending you my energy. Hopefully you can feel it. Living in... All right, this is wild. Logan Paul accuses Bad Bunny of exploiting Puerto Rico. Claims Bad Bunny is privately using oh the same gosh. tax program he is publicly condemning. Motherfucker, you did not. Dude, what? Okay, here we go. Bad Bunny is a Puerto Rican living in Puerto Rico who is privately taking advantage of the same tax program that he is publicly condemning. And, and, is that and, true? And I, I know this, and I see- How does he know that? Like, what information are you privy to? Did Bad Bunny criticize the tax hole uh, thing? I, I didn't see that. He's got people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you haven't Things seen like the, la the latest on Bad Bunny's attitudes about- Tax Puerto Rican tax code? <laughs> I didn't actually. <laughs> Track that carefully. I, I did not. No, I have no, and no idea. It hurts. And, I, and, and, and some, there are local Puerto Ricans who know about this. So, so he, he feels called out because he's a scumbag, piece of shit, white colonizer who moved there <laughs> to fucking not pay taxes. He actually just lives there like 51% of the year. He doesn't actually want to live there. He just wants to have a property there so he can save money on taxes. So I'm kind of at a uh, loss for words right now. So I see this I see this music video that has stuck me in the middle of it that that a surrounded Wait, he's in a music he put Logan Paul in a music video? <laughs> what have I missed? I missed all of this, so I I I'm of no use to you here. This is really something. Maybe we should come back to this on Friday after we figure out what's happening. We're gonna be late to the game. By context, that right, makes me look like we're on the cutting then. edge of this story. Fuck it, let's just figure right, it out love, live. Right, love? Like, this could be a good highlight. This is a great highlight. We're trying let's to figure it out. It. It's timely. We can't, if we wait oh, till, yeah. if we, till Friday, the story's dead, bro. <laughs> I found it if you, if you want. A court, yeah, I want it. Okay, here we go. What is a bad bunny? Musician. Oh. Just, I know who he is, I just thought. Yeah, oh, uh, it's a ill-behaved rabbit, obviously. Hmm. X X X Tassion. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Well, okay, so let me finish this. No, that's a good bunny. Right? Yeah, that's there. a good bunny. A don't, don't put that on the bunny. In Puerto Rico, and again, Wait, while I love that bunny, I we're I not seeing any of this either. <laughs> hold on, we were deep in bunny land. All right, we're good. We've recovered. Yo, this thumbnail is kind of goes hard. Can you send me the thumbnail? Uh, just an image of it. Of the Philly D one? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Sup, you beautiful bastards. Welcome. So where's the thing of him? Three, 348. Okay. Here we go. Inversiones en cosas como acciones, criptomonedas y bienes raíces. I'm moving to Puerto Rico. It also touches on a lot of the other issues that the island faces, like gringos buying cheap. Oh, so he made a documentary? for properties that locals would use for housing and making them rentals for tourists. And after today's show, I'll link to it down below. I, I cannot recommend you. We got to watch that. That sounds interesting. Yeah, dude, Puerto Rico gets absolutely fu- What? <laughs> I'm just laughing at this scramble to, like, figure out what the fuck is even happening with the story. Okay, so what I have ascertained, I thought I said something stupid, which is- No, no, well, yeah, no. So this, look at this thumbnail, bro. Go home. He's eating a banana. Got him. Good one. Yeah, so Puerto Rico Let gets... Let me tell you about banana. If Puerto Rico is... An, <laughs> Strangely appropriate. Yeah, if you guys don't know, Puerto Rico is a territory of the United States. They, however, 
don't have a representative. It's really fucked up, actually. They're not, they're not a state. They're, they're just not a state. state. In fact, I mean, one thing that we used to say during the American Revolution is no taxation without representation, and here we are again. Um, but also, they're always, they're just ho always getting fucked by natural disasters, too, and the United States basically treats them like a bastard child, even though they're technically part of the, the country. Um, it's a really weird situation. Very little about it. I mean, Trump went there and threw paper towels in the face of, like, the big, biggest tragedy they've ever faced, so. Disaster. Notable among these being Logan Paul, who has reportedly been a resident for nearly a year now after building a $13 million home there. Which is why we've seen so many locals criticizing him, other critics saying, hey, Logan Paul, don't you live in Puerto Rico? Sucks how you call it home and the natives, your neighbors are suffering. As well as Logan Paul and all you millionaires, where the fuck are you at now? What are you doing for Puerto Rico to help? Want to keep buying property? All of you are full of shit. Well, this is something that we've talked That's a good point. I mean, yeah, if you're going to call it your home so you don't pay taxes... When it gets hit by a natural disaster, where are you helping out the... the Why do you keep saying that... Are taxes, like, known to be super low in Puerto Rico no, there's a that's there's a known tax loop. No, it's not. They pay taxes there. Right. But there's some tax loophole where if people from the mainland go there, I think they wanted to motivate people to move there or something. I don't know the details, huh. but there is some crazy tax loophole where yeah. if you move there, you save, you get, you pay way less tax. And that is why they moved there. Interesting. Yeah, it's called Act 22. I timestamped it in Bad Bunny's video, and he shows Logan. Got it. Yeah. Wait, where's Bad Bunny's video? Oh, this so, is it. Yeah. It's his music video for El Apagón, and, and he attacked. focuses on millionaires like Logan Paul who are exploiting... Um, I say good for him. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, with their lack of paying taxes. Dude, that's awesome that he's uh, doing this. And that's what sparked Logan Paul firing back. Got it. But for him to say, Bad Bunny, you're doing the same thing, how the fuck do you know that? Well, he says everybody on the island knows. Also, I don't <laughs> think that's true because Bad Bunny is a Puerto Rican native, and yeah. I don't think it, they have the same offer. What a douche, bro. Just accept the criticism. Saving for the wealthy. In Puerto Rico, there's a law that permits to foreigners... says there's a law in Puerto Rico where... Oh, sorry, I missed that. Where foreigners, no pagar to avoid paying certain taxes when they move no here, se mudan aquí. Se llama la it's called Act 22, which is now part of Act 50. Y a esta ley, when this, una uh, se... here, let me just mute it, because it's, or turn it down a lot. With this law, when someone moves to Puerto Rico, they don't pay any capital gains taxes on things such as stock, cryptocurrency, and real estate. There uh, it is. Right when he launched this dumbass... Uh, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, what a surprise. Did a rug pull. I moved Crypto to coin and moved to Puerto Rico at the same time. Gains. Here's one guy bragging about it. I live in Puerto Rico, 0% capital gains. Capital gains is 15%, with, or 17%, roughly. Something like that, with yeah. With a Pokemon card in his hat. Why does this dude look like Jim Carrey? Everyone looks like Jim Carrey lately. You don't see it? So, I think it's a good point. It's like, you came here to benefit from this tax situation. And now, the whole island is fucked by natural disaster. And where are you? You want to call this your home? Like, hey, come on. I think it's an interesting point he's making. Um, I mean, whatever, isn't paying taxes like a civic duty? I don't know why it's like cool to skip out on paying ta fair share of taxes. But uh, here, here is when they mention him. Ese beneficio sumado a los bajos precios de las propiedades luego del huracán María para algunos Oh, we already, we already saw him. It was just that brief. So they just show him for yeah, a they just there. they use him when they were talking about millionaires. I think it's cool. I mean, he's unless used... it's further in, but I've watched about a minute past that. And yeah, I no, I think yeah. you're right. Yeah. I think it's super cool. He's using his influence to talk about this. Como acciones, criptomonedas y bienes raíces. I'm moving to Puerto Rico. Yeah, it's like the old. Yeah, they nailed your ass, bro. I mean, look, you did it. Face the music. Yeah. It looks bad. You look kind of fucking pathetic for doing that talked about in the past, the, the person that has blown this up the most recently is Bad Bunny. He, if you didn't see, recently turned his El Apagón music video into a documentary about the struggles Puerto Rico faces and heavily focused on millionaires like Logan Paul who come to avoid many taxes. Okay, so now we have the full context, so now let's go back and watch 
Logan Paul's Cosas como acciones. response, Criptomonedas y or I'm trying, here he is. Are you going to be able to piece this together, uh, love? <laughs> Is a Puerto of course, Rican. Of course, of course. <laughs> okay, so here is Logan Paul responding. Yo, I hope Bad Bunny sues this motherfucker. If he's a native of Puerto Rico, it doesn't sound like he can. It says it's four foreign foreigners moving there. Bad Bunny is a Puerto Rican living in Puerto Rico who is privately taking advantage of the same tax program that he is publicly condemning. And, and, is that and, true? And, I, I know this, and I see- How do you like know that, bro? We need receipts, bitch. He stepped to Bad Bunny. I'm fu bro, oh, hell no. Nah. I ride for Bad Bunny, man. Show me the text. Yeah, you ain't got texts, bitch? That's a huge accusation. And by the way, I love how he's not like, trying to defend his actions. It's like, oh, well, he did it too. He also literally says, Islanders know about it. Huh? Highlanders? What do you mean? What is that, some racist ass dog whistle, bitch? Ohio ass white bitch? <laughs> Dan, back me up. Dan, thoughts? I'm surprised you're um, not. Whether, I don't know. I don't, I'm surprised Logan Paul's not I don't know fucking anything about the pulling weight out of a man. fish right now. He's so fucking white. Guy. <laughs> it's kind of hard to talk about Logan now because. Because we like Mike. Uh, yeah, I love Mike so much. Mm -hmm. I like uh, Mike. I don't. By proxy, it's like. I'm sorry, what was that? I just don't feel right. Mike knows he's a scumbag. <laughs> nah. He's just being. He's just a good guy. <laughs> and I see things like this, and it hurts. And I, and 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 some there are local Puerto Ricans who know about this. So I see this. I see this music video that has stuck me in the middle of it. That that uh, surrounded by context that makes me look like a, a vulture in Puerto Rico and again while I love Bad Bunny I, I cannot personally support the the hypocritical nature of his exploitation dude you this is the biggest like even if he's right which I doubt he is dude you're you responding to a criticism is not accusing someone else you gotta fucking answer what they're saying you're doing you're saying you're not a vulture explain how you're not a vulture explain how you're not exploiting Puerto Rico. You know? Yeah, you're ready to just kind of sidesteps that whole aspect exactly. of it. it, it that, that, that's like the but maybe he addresses it and maybe there's a longer what, what does bad, part of this What does clip? Bad Bunny being a hypocrite have to do with the charge? You know what I mean? I don't really give a fuck, but thanks for letting me know. <laughs> um, also, I forget. <laughs> Wow. Dude, Phil really put in like the spooky music Whoa. there. Phil. Phil, no, he got a scoop here. <laughs> I'm curious. He got his ass a scoop. This spooky month. It's October. Yeah, I'm curious if Logan reached out to Philly and was like, I, I want to do an interview on your show, or if Philly reached out to Logan and was like, Do you have anything to say? That's interesting. I do wonder that too. But he got his ass a scoop, man. For real. Look at that. Listen to that music. While I love Bad Bunny, I, I cannot personally support the, the hypocritical nature. Nobody's asking you to support the hypocritical nature. Just answer the, the accusation. Bitch! That's a straw man. Of his exploitation. Wow. Ooh. Boom. Cinematic impact. impact. I believe that's yes. called. Yes, yes, an impact. Yes. We love the impacts. Folks. So sick. So is this why Logan Paul's trending? Living in Puerto Rico. Dude, he, by the way, he is going to get, I'm just calling this now. He is going to get skewered for this take. Absolutely massacred. The bunnies are in. This, 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 this is a nuclear take. Bec and it's similar to the one he had about Get Out or Nope, the new Nope movie. Mm -hmm. For no reason. He goes, this movie fucking sucks. <laughs> Dick. It's the worst movie I've seen in a worst long time. Worst take. This here you, you have like a super rich fucking celebrity influencer who's clearly gone there to avoid paying taxes, now sidestepping criticism to accuse Bad Bunny, one of the most beloved musical artists out right now. It seems universal acclaim people love his ass, who went out of the way to make a really good documentary to raise awareness to his country slash state plus territory, whatever, Puerto Rico. This is so bad. 
Here, here's the top comment. Using an actual Puerto Rican native to deflect is crazy. Bad Bunny is not the one contributing to gentrification in Puerto Rico. Dude, he's going to get skewered. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be bad for our boy here. Logan Paul's really coming at a man who was born and raised in Puerto Rico. I, bro, that's what just blows my mind. The dude is from Puerto Rico. It's not the same. It's already not the same. Like, sir, how does that even make sense? Logan Paul moved to Puerto Rico for tax uh, reasons. Benito could have moved anywhere on the planet with the money he has, but chose to stay home. That's legit. That's true, girl. Preach it. You're there part-time, bitch. You're there 51%, and any extra percentage, you're out. If Bad Bunny uh, was exploiting Puerto Rico and benefited, he, he wouldn't make a documentary calling out people taking advantage of it. Yeah, there's no way he's right about that. There's no way. Right? That'd be so insane if Bad Bunny did that. The tax incentive Bad Bunny benefits under Act 20 are not the same incentives that the vulture and now liar Logan Paul benefits from under Act 22. And that, and as I noted, P Puerto Ricans are barred from obtaining for doing absolutely nothing except displacing Puerto Ricans. This is, dude, watch this. By Friday, this story's going to be huge. What did we say? Act 22 is the name of it? There's all kinds of numbers. There's Act 22, there's Act 20, it's all fucking... Let me see. Yeah. I, I saw 20, 22. Act 22 seeks to attract new residents to Puerto Rico by providing, providing a total exemption from Puerto Rico income taxes on all passive income realized or accrued after such an individual becomes a bona fide resident of Puerto Rico. It's part of Act 60, but yeah, it's Act 22. What was the one where they, uh, what was the act where they said to kill all the Jedis? Uh, Order, Order 66. 66 yeah, be. Order 66. Was it part of that? Thank you. No. Okay, well, we, we got to wrap it up. We've been going way too fucking long. But one last question here. Uh, there's somebody left a brownie in the bathroom. What's going on with this? Does anyone want to own this brownie? Yeah, I don't know. I just... It's open? Yeah, it's open. It's half. It's one of those ones that breaks in two. Brownie in the bathroom, good. anyone? No. Nobody. It looks good. I'd say I eat it, but it was I'm in the bathroom, so... I'm not to eat it. I'm not going to it, and I would question myself. You're the, you're the one that's drugged up, baby. I would have I would have suspected it was you. Yeah, that could have been... have those in the office? I've never seen anything I like that. You do. Yeah. I fucking want one. Here's yeah, me too. I want one. There's one in the bathroom if you want it. Mm. <laughs> Lena thoughts? I know Lena loves it. It had to be someone in the room. Lena wouldn't lie. She wouldn't What's lie. What's it mean? Lena would never lie. She has way too much integrity. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. And I can't wait to watch Logan Paul get skewered for being a piece of shit. You guys remember when he moved to Puerto Rico and they got busted for driving their golf carts on, like, protected turtle? Yeah. All oh, right. I forgot about I mean, the turtles. Yeah. such pieces of shit. He can't hide it, man. You know, I think it's time to move, bro. Back to Ohio. Just stay in Ohio, bro. White boy, white boy. Go get some weights out of fish and shit. All right, uh, GP coming at you. Uh, we, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Dad said the chair's been dropped off at H3 Podcast. I guess we'll do that on Friday, eh? Yeah. Sounds good. All right, Dad, we'll look at your chair on Friday. All right, y'all. Better be good. Um, thank you, thank you. See you guys tomorrow morning. Ta-ta. Love y'all.